going live it's thinking you're live or so it says how long has it been since i've seen that message i wonder feels like a while actually <laughs> a brief hiatus <laughs> but the echo once again confirms we are here hello my friends welcome back or welcome to an Elden Ring stream. Today, we begin a new, mostly new, journey as Alcor, the Confessor. Hey, kid events. Welcome, welcome. You are the first. Now, this was a video series, but um, to be perfectly frank, it wasn't doing well. So if you enjoyed the video series, thank you. If you didn't, don't worry, you weren't alone. So instead, it's going to be a stream, and it'll, that's a few changes, but to answer the question, how is this different from Fables Run? Well, in a few ways. One, there's going to be a touch of roleplay. Nothing overly dramatic, but a touch of roleplay, and my thought process will be a little bit different, and I'd like to try and see a few stories that I missed. Um, and I'll look stuff up to find that. We've already beaten the game once, so I kind of know what to expect, so I don't mind looking things up now. Secondly, a challenge to myself. I will do no summons of any kind. No friends. No spirits. Nada. It is just me against the world. And last but not least, we are a good, good build. <laughs> I'm going to be a faith-related brawler. So no magic shenanigans. There could be some faith shenanigans. We'll see. But I am just going to have to get good against some of those bosses. I do have a few schemes, but we'll see if they come to fruition. Now, I did... Oops. If you haven't seen the videos... Oh, look at that shot. We're pretty much in the beginning. All I've done is the tutorial. We came up here. We got our horse. We have... We are no longer maidenless. We went to the dragon shrine just because. And then I killed the dragon here in the middle. Congratulations. You're caught up. <laughs> I did do a little hop and a skip over here. Um, <clears throat> just to get the Wondrous Flask. And a Sacred Tear, which I didn't use for some reason, unbeknownst to me. But today, I hope I can do most of Limgrave. We'll see. I do have a plan for my weapon. Currently. Oh, it's a crap. Currently, we are using the Starting Broadsword. It's actually a pretty good weapon. So, I'm not horribly disappointed. But, I have given it a special effect. Dun, dun, dun. While I was taking my hop and a skip over here, I found an Ash of War. The Sacred Blade. And it just seemed appropriate. Did I ever do this? I feel like I haven't. Ooh, a cave. The Limgrave Tunnels. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Who knows? I barely remember anything from the start of the game. It's been so long. So unbelievably long. I do have one... You know what? We probably don't even need this mana. No, we're going to keep the mana flask. I do have one mana flask. But it's mostly for more healing. Because we begin, of course, with Assassin's Approach and... Urgent heal as a confessor. So let's see how good this uh, ability is. I guess I should two-hand. Maybe I did go here. Now against these guys, of course, they are made of stone practically, so it is best to use a bludgeoning weapon or heavy attacks or both. I'm sure both would work. But it looks like our... Our holy damage is not too bad. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I do know what weapons I would like to use. Uh, but finding them and getting the stats to use them are an entirely different matter. But do not worry. We will get there. And I'm gonna need a lot of somber stones. So, keep your eyes peeled, eh? Damage is okay, but not great. What are you? Oh, rats. Alright, so this is what Sacred Blade does. 
Not bad. And then my blade is enchanted with holy power for a brief moment. Pretty appropriate for a confessor, I would say. A Palopidin of sorts. Fake? No. I don't even remember. There were so many signs at the beginning when I was playing Us Fable. They were like, hidden wall ahead, and I'd smack the wall and it wouldn't be hidden. And I've come to learn that some of the hidden walls require some um, additional smacking. So maybe some of those weren't entirely inaccurate. I just need to give them more smack. Because, of course, early on I was either trying to roll through them or just use my stick. Which... Okay. Try jumping. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Why are we trying to jump? Is this just for cool points? Oh, dear. What have I done? <gasps> oh. Um, yeah, that feels like it's just for cool points. I feel like I can't make it that far, but we can make it down and then take the elevator. Mm hmm? Yeah, I didn't remember that in the slightest. But before we go up, let's see what's over here. Hopefully I don't forget. I might. I could. I could very easily forget. But someone may remind me. No. No. Bad dog. I hate dogs. Not in real life, of course. <gasps> okay, well, that's fine. I was going to do the tried and true parry attack. Or counter attack, not parry. That. <laughs> Confessor begins with a shield that has 100% physical resistance. Very nice. And um, could be a significant part of our strategy. I would like to use the, what's it called? The brass shield? Is that what it's called? It's a shield that drops from the knights, and it's very paladin-y. Very cool. Which is entirely why. I'd also like to get my hands on the buckler uh, so that I can give in to my toxic side and try and parry everything. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to have a good parry weapon, but uh, I can still parry. Reminder, elevator jump. Thank you. I looked the wrong way, didn't I? I think I did. <laughs> it was this way. All right. What do we got? Got some shenanigans going on here. I have also come to learn... No, 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 whatever this is, no. About a few really cool Ashes of War, courtesy of Kid Events, that we might look into using. Although the weapons I really want to use, I don't believe can have their, their things changed. Pretty sure they are what they are, you know? They is what they is. This looks bad. Oh yeah, it looks bad. Hmm. Are you going to stop? Well, you know what? Let's do this. Yep, that's effective. Whew. That's why I need the mana potion. We need the mana potion for Sacred Blade. Wow, okay. I have a feeling I'm going to do a lot of damage to whatever is over here. You know, just a feeling. Is that an actual fall? Don't remember. Okie dokie. We have four healing pots. The wondrous flask only contains... What does it contain? The heal for half your HP. So it's nothing dramatic. Treasure chest ahead. Liar ahead. Thank you. Alright. Which one is this? Oh, is this the stone giant? I should be able to fight this. Mm -hmm. Ah, some glorious tea. Well, two hand. I actually do remember fighting this guy, but I came back really, really late. Like, I was hella strong. <gasps> you 
have missed. Okay. Okay. Good job. Ooh. Oh, I guess I have to jump that, huh? Good start so far. <laughs> Ooh, lots of damage, though. Okay. Oh, yeah. Get down here. All right, well, looks like we're doing good. <laughs> Sacred Blade. Is this a jump? Nope, this is a rampage. We'll take this moment to heal. All righty. Let's go, big boy. Uh, <clears throat> is this the jump? Yep, that's the jump. All right. Easy as pie. The Lord of Medallion. Currently. But that's what we get? Did I fight that? I don't know. Enhances roar and breath attacks. Ooh. Do you know what is faith related? Dragon breath. Hmm, that could be good. I don't think I actually got this. You learn something new every day. I've also never used a roar attack. But you get those pretty late, so it's not my fault, okay? Almost walked off to my death there. What do we need to level up? What are we looking at? So we can level up once. But I think our resources are high enough that we can just, uh... There's a crab under here, right? Yeah. We have three healing pots. I'm confident enough in going over here. <laughs> Wrath of Gold will be fun to see. Yeah. I don't think I'll be really strong in using it. But it could be fun. It does do a lot of damage. And lets me knock things off, which is the important part. Now, I remember... I came over here. And I was like, how the heck do I beat these guys? My, how silly dragonfly... How far we've come. That's how you beat him. <laughs> Foul undead. Return to your grave. For your work here is done. I don't think I actually know the lore behind the undead in Elden Ring. I guess it's just because the Elden Ring is fractured. Hold on. I didn't realize there were so many of you here. You know what? Let's try this. That was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. Alright, we're good against the undead. <laughs> we are good against the undead. Can knock foes on their asses, giving ample time to run or damage. True. True. You know another fun trick? I have been forcibly dismounted. You can heal next to the undead and it will, uh... Invaded by bloody finger narrages. It will deal damage to them. A lot of damage sometimes. Hello! I am the anguished confessor. And you are in my way. I thought for sure that was going to be a bank step. You have daggers, good sir. Well, you know what? If it isn't Narius, the bloody finger. Hello. The end is nigh. The end is nigh, indeed. And your sister. Rude. <laughs> it's just you and me right now. Ooh, that's a lot of bleed. <gasps> okay, that hurt. Hey, you healed, I'm gonna heal. Hello! This is my dragon friend. Well, my friend who told me not to fight the dragon, and then I fought the dragon anyway. Well, I said I wasn't gonna use summons, but... This is a an exception, because I didn't summon him. Alright, well. Good job, buddy finger. It did great. 
you had the mind for it, you could sh uh, chain it with itself. True. Reduvia. Bloody finger has been defeated. And Hunter Yura has returned to his world. I don't think he ever actually told us his name. I just knew what it was. So, Reduvia. A dagger that I have a long relationship with. But it is a foul thing. A jagged dagger with a distinctive curved blade used by the noble servants of the Lord of Blood. This dagger rips the flesh as it enters, inflicting blood loss with sickening efficacy. A proud testament to the success of its vicious design. This weapon is perpetually coated in blood. And its unique skill lets you throw off bleeding effects, which are very good. And arcane weapons are exceptionally strong right now, so... You know, if you wanted to do a dagger build, have at it. Have at it. So, right now, our weapon is scaling with primarily strength and faith, I believe. Hmm. Hmm. We'll push faith to 15 and dex to 15. Let's see, what is our weapon scaling with? It is... Okay, so strength and dex are E and faith is D. Got it. Got it. We're going to need some more health and some more endurance, I think. Perhaps for our next few levels. This place is dark. Um, Dark enough that I need my torch? Maybe not. Unless you actually need strength leveling, faith is a better choice since it opens up incants. Big true. I do actually need dexterity, which is why I leveled it. I notice that there are these contraptions here with bells on them. I think these are traps. And those who trap others are foul brigands. Everyone deserves a second chance. The guidance of grace can change their lives. But how dare you? How dare you, foul fiend? He poisoned me. No, 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 no. We can't have that. No, 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 no. Also, I think I can actually craft this poison thing. Look at this. I spent... I don't even want to think about how long trying to learn how to do that the first time through. And I just instantly find it. Ah, come on. If I had any fire... Alright. Come here. Good job. Alright, that's you. I want, I think, okay, so for my weapon, I have two weapons in mind. One of them uh, is actually pretty easy to find, and that requires 24 faith. It's a lot of faith. It's, uh, I actually looked it up. It is 16 strength, 16 dex, and 24 faith. We can kind of circumvent the 16 strength requirement by uh, two-handing it, of course. But the dex and faith requirement cannot be circumvented. The other weapon that I would like to use uh, is not so easy to get. <laughs> it involves some farming. So we'll see if we want to do that. Well, isn't this a quaint little hole? But where there is one brigand, there are often others. Well, well, well. Thought you'd just help yourself to a man's personal belongings. The gods demand repentance. Do they? Cough up your coin. All of it. Is that Scarlet Rod? He kicked me. Okay, Patches. Calm down. <laughs> Alright. No kicking. Come on. Attack me with your ooh, good dodge patches. 
Is this the game we're gonna play, Patches? They backstab you. Well, okay. Wait, wait, please. Hmm. I surrender. White flag and all. Do you? I did say that all deserve a second chance. Ooh. Well, finally come round, have you? <laughs> I knew you would. You're a man of reason. True and true. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All deserve a second chance. May grace guide you, Patches, to a better life. Ah. Well, what do you know? You're tarnished, like me. Now, now how did I get that wrong? I took you for a demi-human or some such. <laughs> An innocent mistake, I assure you. Uh-huh. Well, water under the bridge. Now we're squared up. How about we play nice from now on? Let's forgive and forget. Only if you promise to mend your ways. A true man of reason. Just what I like about you. I'm Patches. Patches the untethered. Tarnished like you, only free-spirited. Nomadic, you might say. Only for now, those retired soldiers turned bandits. And they're paying for my gruel. In exchange for my, well, showing them the ropes. But honestly, this looting racket is bloody terrifying. Indeed. Frankly, I'm ready to wash my hands clean. Maybe set up a legitimate shop. Good. So don't be a stranger. I'll be ready to wheel and deal come next time. <laughs> Why did you laugh at the end there? Don't forget to pop back for another visit, friend. I'll be ready to wheel and deal come next time. Very well, let us see if Patches is going to keep his word, shall we? Ironically, that's a throwback to Dark Souls 2. Gavlan wheel, Gavlan deal. I love Gavlan. Patches, are you keeping your word? Has Grace truly changed you? For the better. None of this banditry shite. Oh, his friends came back. I love the counterattack. Gavlin's a great dealer, it's true. Gavlin was one of my favorite characters in Dark Souls 2. I should have rested just in case Patches has not changed his ways. Ah, well. I have drinks. Ah, hello, Patches. Why is that chest there? Mm, patches. I'm healing just in case. I don't actually know what happens. Patches, I've come to ensure that you've changed your banditing ways. Well, nice of you to drop in finally. It's all a bit ad hoc, but I'm sure you'll find something. And welcome to Patches Emporium, where you won't need a refund, because everything's top notch. Nice. About the bandits, you see. I had to kill them again to get here, Patches. Yeah. I had those bandits make a clean break. Did you? Now they're all suppliers. And good ones at that. And dead. I mean, they don't understand a word I'm saying. But it hardly matters. We have a natural connection. <laughs> they're all foot soldiers. Survivors of a defeated army. Worked to the bone by their high and mighty lord. Only to be thrown out with the rubbish. <sighs> it's the same old story everywhere I go. <sighs> to hell with it all. Hmm, that chest. Hmm. Wondering what's inside the treasure chest. Indeed. Well, it's a... Uh, nothing too special. Just something I'm saving as thanks for a very valuable customer. But then again, it would fetch some spectacular... And besides, this valuable customer could be a long time coming. Huh? Everything is give and take. Give and take. Indeed it is. Does that mean I can open this? So what do you sell, Patches? Ooh, you sell a stone sword key. The parrying dagger. This cookbook. Which we're going to buy, because it's the only thing I can buy that's worth a darn. Alrighty. Cheers for that. 
Can I open this? Or are you going to get mad at me? <gasps> Patches. Well, well, well. I should have known, you scheming little thief. The gods demand vengeance. Vengeance! It is partially my fault for opening his chest, but still, Patches, please. Where am I now? That is a big bear. Also, I can't teleport. That is also a big bear. He did say he was saving it. Yeah, for anyone stupid enough to open it. <laughs> it was so tempting, though. Okay. So typically, the reason I can't teleport is because there's a boss or something. Can I... I can ride torrents. Alright, well... That bear's looking at me. That bear is angry at me. Alright, little bear. Oh, you have a lot of health. That's fine. We have 100% block. <laughs> oh, good show. Alright. Bye-bye. Okay. I didn't really want to come over here yet, but, you know... Sometimes, your hand is forced. I hate bats. I'm sensing a trend here. I just don't think I like any of the animal wildlife that tries to kill you. So, I still can't teleport. Greetings. I'm not sure how much I'll be around. I had a horrible birthday yesterday and got sick. Been running a fever all day. Oof. Well, I hope you feel better. I'm sorry your birthday didn't go well. And happy birthday. <laughs> if it's any consolation. I hear it. Where is this rune thing? This dung beetle. Aha. All right, Torrent. Don't let me down. You never do. Ash of War Ground Slam. Oh, we can butt slam people now. I hear another one. Ah. I sure do, because this is the Minor Earth Tree. The spiked cracked tear and the green spill crystal tear. Added to our wondrous physic collection. Is there no guardian for this place? Ooh. A deep well which opened its doors by itself. Okay. Well, we can explore this later. I think. There is no need for us to go that far just yet. The map. The map. We have found Limgrave East. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, gentlemen. Oh, that went over well. Now, I do recall that there was a special area around here somewhere. What if I just loot all this? Hi. Uh. Oh. Gold tinge instrument. Okay, great. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> you know who else is out really bad at fighting rune bears? Other rune bears. This is probably going to be really stupid. I can't possibly see this going anything other than poorly. Torrents. 
my dear friends. I am sorry. But your service is much required. Okay. Yep, this was dumb. Okay. <laughs> Patches. Well. You don't have tea, but hot, you do drink hot chocolate. Hot, cho hot chocolate can work out too. Really? I still can't teleport. Well, no matter. Perhaps three rune bears was too many. We could probably do it with two. Maybe. Maybe. But for now, what if we just don't? Just don't, forehead. I still can't teleport. Patches, what have you done to me? I think I can teleport now. Patches? We're going to have a little discussion, Patches. About your... Tricks. And about these bandits who are still in your service for some reason. I thought you mentioned that they had left. That you had... What was it again? Cut clean? Hmm? <laughs> I'm glad you appreciated that. My doom. It will. It is not my first death to a rune bear, and it will most certainly not be my last. Hello. Ah, oh, why in? You're alive. I sure am, Patches. Be proper scared, puffing away in a flash like that. Well, maybe it's a sign to keep your mitts off what's not rightly yours. Hmm? But I'll forgive you. View it as a learning experience. At any rate, it's just nice to see you safe. Oh, don't miss all the bargains here at Patches Emporium. <laughs> Patches. Oh, we got an emote. <laughs> Cheers for that. <sighs> you know what, Patches? I'll let you off just this once, because you do have a point. It was rude of me to try and open your chest. It was. All righty. Well, since I'm here, let's just keep going down this way, shall we? What is down the stream? Hello. Ah, Yura. Good to see you again, my friend. Ah, we meet again. To have fought Nereus and lived. You must have seen your share of battle. I am Yura. As you might recall, hunter of bloody fingers, tarnished, held in thrall by cessblood. Zealots, who stalk their own, you stay the path. You are certain to face more of them, just remember. No kinship with their elk remains. Their madness precludes it. Don't let your emotions stay your blade. I will not. Be on your way. Perhaps we will meet again. If fate permits. If fate permits, huh? Be on your way. Perhaps we will meet again. Very well. One of the Art of Wars that I missed for my first playthrough comes from his quest line. So I'd like to make sure I do it if possible. Oh, slimes. Great. I don't think I'm very good at killing slimes right now. And that is a door. At least he didn't try to open this chest to steal his heart. Yeah. <laughs> at least, huh? Yuri is a badass NPC. Absolute agreed. One of the better NPCs. It's a shame that I didn't do his quest the first time, but we will. Oh, I will do my best to try it this time. Alrighty. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm two-handing my shield. Okay, well. Oh. 
I appreciate you not getting involved, mister. Um, is there a reason you just watched your friends die? Ah, eh, whatever. If anyone was curious about how shield build works, um, I just accidentally did it. <laughs> shield run. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We don't actually need any of this grave glove work because I'm not using summons. This is a no summoning run. Are you throwing stuff at me? <gasps> Bastard. What? So, if you're stuck there, what does this do? Oh, of course. <laughs> A confessor is always wise to his surroundings. Do not let those who would deceive you draw you from your path. Alrighty. Pull the lever! The door has opened somewhere. I hear it. I hear the door. I see also guards for the door. And another trap. And much blood. My fellow tarnished have fallen here before. Hopefully I don't join them. <gasps> Ooh. Remember what I just said? <laughs> Always be aware of your surroundings. How did I only hit one of you? Well done. Ooh, okay. That was how I confess her battles. What is that? Ah. Huh. Oh, is that one of the fire arrows? Alrighty. I don't remember what this is. But whatever it is, my friends, we are alone. With only grace to guide us. I have fought like maybe one of these. Alright. Ooh. Okay. Alrighty. No, whatever this is, no. Oh. We can do it. We're in. Sacred Blade. Grace guides us. Oh. Okay. <laughs> ah, oh. He does lots of damage. I think this is not the moment to try that thing. Where she would help, yeah. It would. I think what I'm going to do. is just do what I was doing before. Oh. Okay. So here's what we need to do to win. We need to jump attack to hit him and then roll away on the second one. <laughs> no air for you today. Oh dear. This buff is really bad for me. Like, if he hits me with both weapons, I die when he's buffed. Okay, that connected. That connected. You can't tell me it didn't connect. Where are my souls? Oh, I picked him up. So, whenever I jump attack, his first attack is going to miss. 
no matter what. No. Okay, his buff is over. So is mine, though. Okay. Get, get knocked down, my boy. Jump! Swing! Ooh. Got one shot, but it doesn't matter. Banished Knight Engvall. All right, GG. You did well. GG indeed. So I've heard, I don't know if anyone can confirm or deny this, but I've heard that Vigor is a non-linear scaling stat. Meaning that like Vigor between, what, what did I hear? 10 and 15? does not have a significant increase to your health. But between 20 and 40, it is a sizable increase. That's what I've heard. Also, I want to see how good I am at killing these with Sacred Blade. Well, okay. Typically, when you're talking about slimes, oh, that's not bad. Um, they're weak to fire, typically. 16 souls is not worth my time, though. Not worth my time, not worth your time. So I think I'm just going to eat something and we will move on with our lives. Let's eat two. Two should be fine. I think so. So with this point, uh, let's go into Vigor. And I think we can move on pretty much. We went to go see Patches. We ex ow, explored over there. I'm looking at the map. Rude. And now I have to either rest or kill you. You brought this on yourself, little slime. I was going to live and let li You brought this on yourself, little slime. I was going to live and let live. But no. Okay, now can I open my map? Thank you. Hmm. We could follow the guidance of grace. Or... We can push south. Oh, look, Grace is guiding us south. Let's go south. Oh, there is a nearby boss I could fight, though. Kind of want to do that. One that has given me trouble in the past. To prove that I've gotten better. Enhances charge attacks or temporarily boost stamina. Let's temporarily boost stamina. That sounds good. Sounds good to me. Excuse me while I finish off my tea. All right, there is a man riding on the road. Oh yeah, this area up here. We took down. <gasps> I remember. The guidance of grace is pointing me this way. Towards these abominations. What will we find? And what they are guarding here in the forlorn hound Evergel. It is our place to venture in and slay the abomination trapped here. The Bloodhound Knight, Dari Will. Okay. How do I want to do this? You are fast and furious. Wondrous Physic. You are very fast. I believe this is a dodge boss. This is not a block boss. This is a dodge boss. Good Sacred Blade. We jump. We're out. Ooh. Okay. We can do that. Wow. Rude. I have already fallen. And yet you blood lost me some more. Hmm. This is adding insult to injury. All right. Sacred Blade does a lot of damage, and our holy attacks are really good against him. So that's all we need to do. We must put our faith in the light. The light being the holy damage radiating off my sword as I stab it through his chest, of course, and get really good at rolling. 
free damage. It's literally free. Literally free real estate. That was greedy. That was greedy. I want to drink. We're going to drink. A sacred blade has worn off. What did I just get hit by there? I missed, so you're going in. Is that how it is? <gasps> oh, right. You follow that up. Okay, that's fine. Smack. Smack. <laughs> that was a, a frustration smack. I probably could have gotten a second one in there. I didn't want to be greedy, though. Greed is good until it's bad. Like that. Nope, that worked out. Ooh. Okay, just roll too soon. That's fine. Top ourselves off. He did that bloodhound step thing. Here we go. Surprised you didn't dodge that, bro. Here we go. Do that. We dodge this and we kill. Boom. Thalofine. Oh. To quote the warrior of light, bathe in the light. Indeed. Let it sharpen your stabby stick. <laughs> All right, we got the Bloodhound. A moment. This one. Curved greatsword with a gently undulating blade wielded by the Bloodhound Knight. A fearsome blade capable of brutal airborne attacks. With the unique skill Bloodhound's Finesse. Slash upward with the Bloodhound's Fang using the momentum of the strike to perform a backward somersault and gain some distance from foes. Follow up with a strong attack to perform the Bloodhound Step Attack. Um, I have seen that blade been used a lot. So we're not going to use it. <laughs> that is a, a good weapon. It's just good. So we're going to go ahead and not use it. I'm going to rest because we're pretty much out of flasks. I can just teleport back, right? So I forgot about the Everjail. But it worked out. It worked out. We're about a thousand runes short of leveling up, so let's go smack some fools, shall we? I am not confident in fighting those guys. Not even a little bit. Something terrible happens here, right? Yep. <laughs> oh, shit. You follow me? All I remembered was that something terrible happened here. That's literally it. I have a question. I have an idea. Ow. Could you not be a pain in my ass? So, I am being chased by a rune bear that was hidden as a normal enemy. What if I lure the rune bear in here? Okay, great. Is this what we call free souls? Not when the room bear loses interest, huh? It was free souls. Royal House Scroll. Okay. I like I'm just riding around killing all of the mages and they're like, well, that's how it is sometimes. Are you mad at me again? We good? I think so. He's either stuck or mad at me. And I'm not sure which. Maybe it's both. Do I have a bow? I sure don't. Hi. Normally, in this position, I'd love to sling spells at you, but I don't have any offensive spells. So, yeah. Is there anything else here to loot? Did I get it all? He was asked to file on train. 
Good morning, Necromancer. Good Morgan. <laughs> Good Morgan. Good morning, Morgan Tempest Lupus. I really want this guy to follow me. I want the free souls. That I get from him killing everybody, but I mean, I can just kill them myself. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a, a thing of you. Are you serious? Oh, that was not good. That felt like a good parry. Am I crazy? Oh, that was too late. That was too soon. <clears throat> Damn it. Someone please let me parry you like that. Thank you. Thank you. I feel like I had the timing there. This is why parrying is my toxic trait, because I think I can parry everyone and I never do. That was way too soon. Come on. That wasn't bad. That worked out. Well, the bear is gone, so I mean... I guess we can move on. <laughs> I found some items for my D&D character. Should I share them on Discord? Some are homebrewed from some creative artists. I mean, if you want to. The free discussions part of Discord is for any discussion you want to talk about. I like how the bear is looking over the path. It's like, you're not going to get away from me. As I very clearly get away from him. By just going this way. Good job, bear. Proud of you. Get down here. Good. Good luck in your endeavor, rune bear. I'm sure you'll do fine. I don't know why you were disguised as a normal peasant, but um, you do you, I suppose. Medium shoes out the right. Ash of War have the worst parry window. That's true. It's a tight parry window for this. And that's what I'm going to blame it on. <laughs> Can I get up there? Does this say sniper point? Yep. <laughs> ah, sniping point. Time for revenge. Unfortunately, I do not have any ranged tools at all. Actually, I might have a throwing knife. I have five throwing knives. That doesn't seem great. You can live, Mr. Torchbearer. So, what I have found, the best way to approach this, we appear to have come across a blockade. Knights are holding the line. And when knights are holding the line, that means there's something they need to hold. Because they're holding the line. <laughs> um, okay. So anyway, as I was saying... <laughs> The best way to get around it is just to run through it. Okay. Here we go. Ooh. Double knockdown. Did you just try to backstab me? Rude. Okay. What else are you hiding in this blockade? You would think a blockade has supplies, right? That makes sense to me? I cannot parry uh, the, the pointy, pointy stick. I can't parry that. Like, I might be able to parry the other one, but the pointy stick, no way. Ooh! Okay, that's fine. Double knockdown. Again. Ooh. There goes my poise. These early throwing knives and firebombs have been notoriously powerful in Souls game during early game. That's true. You know what? That's true. I don't have any bombs, though. Can I make any bombs? Yes. If I find some pots. I'll probably have to buy them. Doesn't the first vendor sell a cracked pot? Hmm. He might. He might. I'm gonna get ya. 
I'm not gonna get ya. All right. Ooh, way too soon. Way too soon. Okay. <laughs> mm. There we go. I'm honestly not sure what that timing was. Like, I think it was as his hand was coming at me. Maybe? This is why I need the buckler. The buckler has a much larger parry window. The buckler has such a large parry window that it has its own special parry. <laughs> I need that. But I'm kind of going the opposite way of it. I'm literally a hundred short. That's fine. That's fine. Hello! Fair maiden. You seem to be surrounded by trouble. Hello? Is somebody there? Indeed. Might I bend your ear for a moment, please? My name is Arena. I've escaped from Castle Morn to the south. Alcohol. The servants there have rebelled. I... I can't be sure what it is. My eyesight's been weak since birth, you see. But I swear I heard frightful howling from all over. My good father secreted me out the castle, but decided himself to stay. He says it's his duty. As commander. I see. I... I fear for father's life. The servants are full wrath. Filled with hatred for every one of us. They've since come for every one of the companions I escaped with. They haven't spared a soul. I fear it's no different at Castle Morn. Please, I implore you. Would you mind taking a letter to my father? At the castle, my soul wishes that he escape. Even if his honor should be the price. Please. I just want him to be safe. Of course. Thank you. Dearly. Then please, take this. Irina's letter. Deliver it to my father, who remains in the castle, if you please. Of course, Please. fair maiden. He can be stubborn. But I'm sure he'll come around. I will be sure to assist you. Saving the life of a man is a noble cause. You seem to need assistance with seeing, though. And, um... You don't seem to possess that. I don't think she'll be okay. Oh. Made the jump. What was over here? Huh. I have no idea. No item ahead. Aw, shame. Your motto was learn to parry with a, a medium shield. And then switch later. You know what? That's probably a reasonable way of doing it. I don't think I can get up there. Maybe I could. Can you? I'm not sure. But nevertheless, this is obviously the path we are intended to take. The path laid out for us by grace. This giant. And some dogs. I hate dogs. This one has glowing eyes, though. Thank you. Um, if I could hit you again, that'd be great. Thank you. 270 runes. A dog I actually liked. Torrent. Torrent. Corral the dog if you would, Cor Torrent. Thank you. So this appears to have been a caravan that was attacked and ransacked. Perhaps the one that Irina was a part of. And these are... What, exactly? Are these perhaps the beastmen that Patches spoke of? Or demi-humans? Is that what he called them? Whatever they are, they're disgusting. Abominations. They shall be put to the sword. Swiftly and brutally. Oh dear. Just like 
that. Just like that. Put them into the Discord and change the name on the server. Wait, what? <laughs> change the name of the server? Oh, your name. I got it, I got it, I got it. The Morning Star. What is this? Hmm. I've never actually made use of Morning Stars. Great hammer comprised of a globe attached to the handle. Though a bludgeon dealing strike damage, the appellative star is covered in spikes which cause blood loss. Ironic, giving its name, this weapon often reeks of blood. All right, dogs. Listen up. We're going to have this nice and clean. One at a time. Okay. This is fine. It's not exactly clean, but it's fine. Good. We got it done. All right. Just top off. We have before us a giant. We have killed more terrifying beasts than this one. Oh, you have a lot of health, though. More than the boss. Which concerns me. Get down. The Oonga Boonga. No, oh, there we go. A confessor knows many tactics. Of faith. Of strategy. And of strength. <laughs> And he uses them all. <laughs> oh dear. I almost had you. There we go. <sighs> no big deal. The Ash of War storms something for shields. Uh, makes a medium shield have a light parry window. Really? Isn't that the thing where they put their shield in front of them and then like, rush forward with a gust of wind? Isn't that thing? Morningstar is quite interesting since it's a blood weapon that bleeds. True. Pretty unique. Hello, fellow traveler. You appear to be a mage of some kind. Oh, farewell. May we meet again. May grace gla... May grace guide you. Please. Thank you. I would love to hit this. <laughs> Ash of War! Mighty shot! Archery stuff. You know, I haven't really played around with archery in this game. That could be fun. There are a few faith bows, I believe. And by a few, I mean like... Two. <laughs> uh, Torrent! The beasts, they grow in number. They are numerous. Okay. Whew. Easy as killing a dog drinking water. Foul fiends. Foul barking fiends. The only good dog is a skeleton dog. Which is very useful in Legend of Keepers. Morgan and Amon in the story were one and the same, but used the different personas. Oh, you're also, oh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize that you were Amon Ishtar. Ah. Well, um. <laughs> That's fine. When you parry, it looks like a tornado in front of your shield. Ah, okay. All you need is one good bow for it to be an adequate amount. True. <laughs> you laughed a bit in Legend of Keepers. Yeah, I was like... Yeah. Is this, um... Yep, okay. 
that's immediately what I thought of. I'm like, oh, you're Eamon. So the name suggestion really came from you. Ah, whatever. I gave you credit. That's all that matters. No. Ow! Who dares interrupt my battle with this foul fiend? With this four-legged demon which has been put down. Something just died. Who is it? Who dares interfere and confess her business? Ooh, okay, we're fine. It's you. There is no fleeing from grace. Which, ironically, is what I call my short sword. <laughs> I can climb ladders. I know how ladders work. A reason why I changed it, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know it was a joke, but now I'm amused by it. Hello. This stupid thing. How many lives have you claimed with this tool of destruction? No more, I say. There we go. Speaking of tool of destruction. The Hand Ballista. This is a terrifying weapon. An unconventional ballistic device modeled on a weapon used to besiege castles only capable of firing great bolts. Perfect for reckless acts such as storming a castle or facing an entire army alone. Excuse me. Alone. I have seen some really wild clips of people using that. <laughs> yeah, look, I made it out. That and the, what's it called? The, the hand cannon thing, which comes from much later in the game. Uh, it's freaking hilarious to watch people use that. I don't know if I ever would, especially since it requires 30 freaking strength. But, uh, you know, never say never, right? A confessor uses all tools available to them. Although I am planning on going more decks. Oh. I shall allow you to live. There is no glory in slaying one who has given up. There is no need. I say that, but didn't I kill all the demi-humans that gave up in the first, the second episode? <laughs> I think I did. Ah, well. We live and we grow, eh? Okay, there's something in the vicinity that I really want. I don't really have time to kill all of you. The plants, you know, the they're, they're um, pollinating. That's what they're doing. Ooh. Hello? The Morn Tunnel. The portable cannon was... was hilarious to watch. It was, yeah. I don't know what that was, but I'm going to find out. Oh, right, the torch, yeah. The torch does stuff to them, doesn't it? Okay. We're gonna put one point in faith. I think I need that for what I want to do. There is something in this zone that I really want. It's important for our character development. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I don't know where it is. I also don't know where the thing I was looking for is here. Which side is it on? Uh, I feel very stupid, but I found a way to fall down. The references to the D&D &D items that already existed. Ah, there. That's what I want. I also hear something. Is there an Ash of War in here? Huh. It's 
Smithing stone. I think what I'm going to do is we're going to... Oh! We made it. I don't know if I missed something, but we made it. I'm going to upgrade our sword. And we'll use this as our temporary weapon. Our trusted Schultz broadsword named Grace. Okay. As you can see, it is quite the reliable weapon. Mm. I seem to recall... <laughs> dying here. I seem to recall that. Let's hope... Let's not repeat it, shall we? References the D&D items that already uh, existed. This was... Way too much to write down in one post. <laughs> no worries. I'll have to look at it after stream. Because I definitely do not know many DD items. I know, like, the bag. The bag of holding. Because one of my favorite things is, like, if you put a bag of holding inside a bag of holding, would you technically, like, create a black hole? It's one of my favorite things. There are three enemies before us. Hmm. Well, let's kill this one. Beautiful. Perfect. It does not get cleaner than that, my friends. Professional demi-human hunter. Added to the title. We have Confessor, the Anguished One. Anguished One should go first. Anguished One, Confessor, Novice Dragon Slayer, and Hunter of Demi Humans. Our list grows. Hello. Goodbye. Why does this feel like a trap? Ow. Hmm, that felt wrong, but there we go. Exalted flesh. I actually don't know what this does. Lump of animal flesh, pickled in a medical solution mixed with fiery spices, temporarily boosts physical attack. Oh. That could be something we look into. Actually making use of. Rat crystal. We're gonna need these. We're gonna need these somber stones. Pop. In your opinion, even a GM can't know every item? Of course not. That's why you have the handbook, right? The handy handbook. <laughs> the handy notebook. Or because you will die from the crafted vortex that rips all near into the astral plane. <laughs> Everything thing is, if you turn a bag of holding inside out, it ejects all of its contents at once. You could probably use that as like a, um, oh, what's it called? The, it was just added into Baldur's Gate 3. It's like when you use a spontaneous weapon or something. I don't remember what it's called. I don't even know if I'm explaining it. A pickaxe. Oh dear. But like, it's the classification of what a... If you were to use your strength to pick up a gnome and hit someone with it, that's the classification of weapon it would be. I don't know what it's called. Also, I played World of Warcraft, okay? Gnome violence was just a typical day in WoW. That's why I came up with the gnome thing. All right. This one has wings. They are beating something down and we will put an end to it. Your violence, your cruelty, your gluttony. Oh dear. Bye. Oh, 
That's fine. Still fine. That's fine. That's a lot of attacks you had. Ugh. I am stuck on something. Okay. Let us back up, shall we? It's not retreating. It's advancing in the opposite direction. Good backstab. See, that's why you don't target people, because then you can get behind them more effectively. I see. This foul beast. This is the one. Uh, he appears to be stuck. Go back. How quickly the enemy forgets. I can relate to that. Foul feathered fiend. Oh. Soft cotton. Let there be item. A fair message. There was indeed an item there. Okay. Improvised weapon. Yes, that's what it's called. Thank you. If you fill the bag of holding it to the brim with, say, tar, you could then aim it at some area of a battle zone and throw it for some flamethrower action. <laughs> a fair point. Precious item ahead. Let there be abundance. Sure. Arterially. I don't think I ever figured out what arterially is for. I probably used it. Oh, it's not for this. So that's not important. Where the heck do I get great dragonfly at? Oh, I have to hunt dragonflies. Duh. Well. Killing dragonflies is not exactly easy. But. I think we will get a magic that will make it easier. Or excuse me, an incantation. We aren't exactly full health, but we aren't exactly not full health either. What? We aren't full health, but we're close enough, I think. Is this the chieftain of the foul demi-humans? Of course it is. The scaly misbegotten. Really? Not a great start, but not a bad start either. Gonna fall that up? Nope. Look at you hold that attack. Look at him, hold it. Bro. Are we playing the same video game? All right. Good job. The Rusted Anchor. I'm notoriously bad at fighting those guys when I find them out in the open world. A rusty anchor wielded as a weapon. Each of its four flukes is thick and sharp, enabling piercing attacks. When the Tarnish left the lands between with their lord, one boat alone was said to have been left behind. It, I always... Seeing this makes me laugh every time I see a ghost using it. 22 on the pickaxe, huh? A large pickaxe designed to crack thick bedrock. Tool of sturdy miners. Not originally designed as a weapon, but very adept at piercing armor. Little wretches, do you think your armor... Harder than stone. Who exactly said that? Well, anyway. A very well, a very efficient run through. Easy peasy. Ooh, I kind of wanted to rest this bonfire, but no worry. We can always find another. There was... Is that just a glowing owl? <laughs> ah. All right. Well, have fun living your life, flowers. If you're living... I don't know. Living your plant life, okay? 
Hello. A guardian is here. And it is no more. <laughs> I recognize the guardians. Do not think I do not. And the respect they deserve. However, they are in our way. Also, it would be really swell if you guys could drop your shield. Or spear. Or both. That's fine. Both are fine. Or like any of your armor, I'll take it. Literally any of your drops, you know? That'd just be swell. Fine. I don't remember what was down there. Hmm. I need to get the map. <laughs> Sooner rather than later, I think. Um. I don't know where I am. You know what would help with that? The map. Ow. That's fine. Uh. Alright, hold on. Where am I? <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, golden centipedes. A sacred tear. We are in the presence of a fallen church. Oh, we can talk to our maiden. Okay, so we have 16 faith. We'll go to 16 uh, decks, and I guess that's all we're doing. <laughs> Fair maiden. What is it you would like to say? Spoken echoes linger here. Words of Queen Marika, who vanished long ago. If you wish, I will share them with you. Sure, I am interested in the words of Queen Marika. In Marika's own words. Then, after thy death, I will give back what I once claimed. Return to the lands between. Wage war. And brandish the Elden Ring. Grow strong in the face of death. Warriors of my lord. Lord Godfrey. Ha. Huh. Okay. Warriors of my lord, Lord Godfrey. The first Elden Lord, of course. War skeletons. Well, we should put them out of their misery. The shambling undead have no place in this world. There are many different types of undead. Would you like to be one shot today? Trick question, you don't get a choice in the matter. Alrighty. Anyone else? Anyone else need to put be put in their place? Mausoleum prowls, cradling the soulless demigod. Oh, America, Queen Eternal, he is your unwanted child. Ha. Huh. Soulless demigod, huh? Hello. Hey, hit me. Thank you. Who are you even summoning with that? Also, why are the bats involved in this? What did I ever do to you, bats? Besides kill all of you. Obviously, I didn't kill all of you, but we'll have to get to work on that. Stupid bats. Get down. Am I in the vicinity of where I want to be? I don't know. I don't know, 
Lord Godfather. That is where we started. The video game. Ah, seems familiar. Yes, it does. It most certainly does. You can also use May Chance to manipulate bags of holding for the shenanigans. <laughs> yep. May Chance is in Baldur's Gate 3. Alrighty. So, I probably should go around to get this, huh? It would be very helpful if I had a map. Supremely helpful. Oh, I see a lady. A guiding statue. And where will you guide me today? If I can jump. Which I can. Guide and gatekeeper for those returning to the roots. Oh, it's right here. So I have not done this. Because obviously, the guide showed me the way. Can I level? I sure can. The tomb's word catacombs. They can choose the method of how they've gotten slayed. Not all can say that, of course. All right. I don't think I need more faith at this moment. I kind of want to get Vigor to 20. I don't like being one-shot. <laughs> ah, an item hides behind this. We recently acquired a stone sword key, so why not? Patches can also provide us with one. We are in the presence of skeletons. Which means it might be time to wield the true power of faith. Soon. There's no need just for these two. What were you protecting? The Nomadic Warrior's Cookbook 9. Well, I'm not sure what that gives me, but I am glad that we got it. We see the statue. Time to put these undead down, ladies and gentlemen. You shall wander the waking world no more. Holy crap, this is effective. <laughs> this is mighty effective. I see the switch. But what foul trickery protects it? From ashes to ashes. From dust to dust. Okay, this is very fun. <laughs> I'm into one-shotting these things. So with two bags, you can release about 120 gallons of water to a battlefield, transforming it to muddy, hard to traverse terrain, or use shock therapy from spells. <laughs> That's funny. Hi. Or if you have water breathing, use them in dungeons and make it to your advantage. I'm pretty sure that was literally a Goblin Slayer episode. Although he used the water... How did it work again? He used a scroll of teleportation. Secret passage. No. Uh, and linked it to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> and then... Uh, shot it at a giant thing. I'd say spoiler alert, but how long ago was that now? Feels like quite a while. Is that a buckler in your hands? I could use a buckler. Get 
down, foul skeleton. Okay. There's actually an easy way uh, to to put down these little pillars. Um, if you have a bow, which we don't, you can just shoot it. Oh, right, you come back. You could just shoot these things from downtown, and it will go down. Okay. We're going to pop my mana flask here, because I believe we have to go up. But, I know what foul trickery awaits me here. Prattling pate. Thank you. Ooh. There are more than even I forgot. Please stop. Well. Farewell. What? <laughs> what was that explosion? There's more? There's nothing else in here, right? Lever, question mark? No lever. No. Really? I'm coming for you. Do you not have an actual weapon? I don't think he does. I'm not going down there. He can stay down there. Is it worth using Sacred Blade? Don't know. Hiding place ahead. Please reach. Thank you. The one thing I don't like about my short sword is, um, it's short. Hidden path ahead. I don't know if I believe you, bro. And I like having reach, you know? Reach is good. I also need to stop trying to two-hand my sacred blade. I just need to one-hand it. Because I'm pretty sure no matter what, it just one-shots the boss. Or, not the boss, but the skeleton. Alrighty, the door is open. It's time to face a fight another keeper of the grave. I kind of want to rest first. How far away was my thing? I cannot teleport here. Okay, this is this is good. We shall rest up. Of seats. I figured this what it was. Alrighty. Let us run it down. I don't remember what terrible thing awaits us here. Try parrying. Try ranged battle. Okay. The cemetery shade. I see. Oh dear. Try parrying. Are you out of your fucking mind? <sighs> Try parrying. I'm just going to try this. <laughs> okay. This is fine. I preferred the try ranged battle suggestion. That one worked out way more for me. Oh, he extended it. Your reach can extend, bro. What is that? 
Oh. Oh! Oh, I'm stuck! <laughs> okay, we're out. He's gonna die. Oh. I shouldn't have said anything. Shouldn't have said anything! Okay. There we go. The light shall smite you. That's pretty much what happened there. Lutel the Headless. Great. More summons we're not going to use. By the way, just remembered the one quest line involves using one of those prattling pages to progress. Really? One of the quest lines involves... Is it the seamster that revolves that one? That might be true. All right. Another catacombs conquered. The dead put back to rest. And so, hi. We move on. To where? I'm not sure. Maybe I should go finally get that, um... That map fragment. <gasps> Hello. Don't turn around. Guardians of the Earth Tree. What are you doing here? Well, I found out. I found out why they're here. They're probably resilient to holy damage, right? That that seems logical to me. If I had to guess. And by there, I mean that thing. The big chunk. Alright. Let's see just what we're working with here. I'm too far. Yep. I rolled... All right. 100 damage. 138. Pretty soon, but it worked out. Hmm. A little flask here. Ow. I need to remember that thing has tremendous reach on it. All right. Oh, yeah, resistant to holy. I would say resistant to holy, yeah. Is this the follow-up? Sure is. Okay, I'm running low on health and health potions, but... Uh... Mm, okay, this is doable, but it's going to have to be... Uh... You're going to have to be tight. I would say prey is an option. Prey is an option, yeah. The blades looked interesting. You can actually get those later. Um, they're very cool. I don't know how effective they are, but they're very cool. The seamster needs prattling pay? Okay. I think I know where the seamster is going to be, and we have a while. Oh, you can full spin with that. Okay. We have a while before we uh, see good old Bach again. Good jump. Good dodge. This is the full. Nope, it's not, which is good for me. Okay, we're out. This is fine. We got the knockdown. Alrighty. That's why I'm jumping, even though it's not really ideal. Oh, shit. I don't know how to dodge that off my horse. I didn't think she would do that. Which I realize, very foolish. She is a guardian tree. Or guardian of the tree. Alright, fine. I'll fight you on Torrent. If that's what you, how you want this to be, I'll do it. 
Am I doing more damage on Torrent? No. Okay. Oh. Fine. If you want me to fight you on Torrent, I'll fight you on freaking Torrent. But remember, I can do some mighty stupid things on Torrent. I've killed the dragon on Torrent. You ain't nothing. Okay, fine. Here we go. Okay, I take it back. I take it back. Here's something. I take it back. Uh, <laughs> I got so stun locked. What I need to do there? I might have been able to jump off for the last one and immunity framed it. I might have been able to. Damn. I always underestimate that range. I'd like my souls back. Can I get them back? Please? You are literally standing on my souls. You come here. <gasps> Maybe not right away. I'm healing. I'm gonna get smacked, but I'm healing. I'm stuck on a pot. I'm gonna get my souls now, okay? <laughs> okay. I kind of want to run and come back when I upgrade my weapon. But we'll give it one more shot, okay? This is the last shot. If we die, we'll call it a tie. To come back later. Okay, so she does the summoning stuff at half health, I think. And I'm really not sure how to avoid it outside of Torrent. Mana. Here it is. Oh, Torrent's almost dead. Oh, come on. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I'm going to summon Torrent for that and I'm going to fight her off Torrent, otherwise. Ooh, I tried to Sacred Blade there. I missed my window. Here we go. I think I could have gotten a second slam there. She butt slammed, jumped. That's the swipe. And with a repost, we finish it. Oh, I didn't need no weapon upgrade. I didn't need no filthy, stinking weapon upgrade. The opaline bubble tear. The crimson burst bubble tear. I think that's the. Health regen one. The health regen one is good. I like it a lot. You get that explosion into Star Bolt Ash, I think. Explosion into Star Bolt. Which one is that? Give me my flasks. Thank you. All right. So with that felled, what are you guys doing? 
Singing? Who calls into the void? It is a beautiful singing voice. Let's follow it. What could go wrong? Hello? Bats! Why? Why bats? It must be this thing. Be wary of poison. Are the bats coming to me, or...? Alright, Torn. <gasps> Ow! Fucking... Bat! Why? <laughs> Wait, it stopped singing. Uh, it's coming my way. Come on. How did you go through my shield? It's not like I put it down or anything. No thing. Maybe I did? I really need a ranged attack. He did it again! I think he went- he goes behind me. Oh, I see. I see. I really need a ranged attack. You know what? We're not really using these for anything. Let's put this here. Alright. Oh, I could have countered there. Alright. You have a beautiful singing voice. I think this is too far. But I shall invoke the light to fell you. Thank you for not doing anything. Golden Rune 6. Wow. Try jump attack. Down? Uh, nah, I'm good. Asylum Demon defeated. Yeah. That was pretty much what I was counting on there. My experience is fighting those demon things. I fought, what, three of them in Dark Souls 1? <laughs> and there's one in Dark Souls 3 that I faintly recall fighting. Okay. So that's done. I... Okay, let's go here then. Ooh, we're getting kind of close. Let's go here. If I can. Where is this? Oh. There is something I didn't get on my first run through here. And I don't remember exactly where frickin' bats. Really? We're really gonna do this. Fucking hell. Ooh. Okay, got it. Lightning strike. Ooh. Hello? This isn't what I wanted, but I'll take it. Do I have an actually offensive magic here? I hope so. Incantation, sorry. Goodness gracious. Could you lot leave me alone? Freaking bats. Not quite as bad as dragonflies, though. <laughs> but they're up there. I have to say it goes dragonflies, bats, dogs. Whew. That's how I would rank them in terms of annoyance. Okay, well. Ah, another one. Another one bites the dust. And another one gone. Another one gone. Oh. Oh. How do I get down from here? Ah. Can I go back up? It kind of doesn't look like it. Hmm. 
Okay. Now we want to go to the right. Which I guess we should just teleport here. Don't recall the name, but you remember someone else using it? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. When you get Lightning Spear, you'll be way better off. Yeah. I know where to get Lightning Spear. We're pretty far away. Oh. 28 faith for Lightning Strike. Summons Lightning Bolt that spreads from impact. Well, that sounds cool and all, but... Uh, I think I'm 12... I'm 12 faith away... Oh, I didn't level. Probably should do that. I'm 12 faith away from that. Has a lot of faith away. <sighs> Especially since I'm not putting... Like, I'm not rushing faith, you know? If I were rushing faith, this would be a different story. So before we continue exploration... Let's go back to the church here. Because I believe... Merchant Kale, one of the first friends we made... Well, you're back. ...had some cracked pots to sell. And this. So buy that. Buy these. Goodbye. Thank you. And we will level up our sword. Our trusty Grace, who is uh, leveled up now. You know what? We'll level up our finger seal as well. Cool. So now, I don't think we're going to use this forever. But hey, it's a safe investment considering how long we are going to use it. Our current weapon, 100 physical, 100 holy damage. Beautiful. Marvelous. Any room sticking soon? Ah, uh, sure. Let's see. So that's, what? 4,600? I could get a, I could get a few levels right now. You know what? Let's do it. Fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. I typically like to save those. Um, you know, for when, like, we need it. But let's go to twenty. I think that's a good number. And... I guess we can pop a point in faith, sure. Melina would like to talk to us. Fair maiden. What is it? This tiny golden aura is the grace of the Erd Tree. This light once shone in the eyes of your tarnished brethren, but now it is all that guides you. Or so I hear. You can see them, can't you? The rays of grace that guide you through your burden. Indeed I can. Upon the cliff in Castle Stormvale, is a shard bearer, a demigod, who inherited a fragment of the shattered Elden Ring. If the rays of grace signal the castle, then the Elden Ring beckons you. As an ally by pact, I pray that you are fit to face the challenge presented by the ring. The grace does guide me that way, but I'm going the opposite. Upon the cliff, a demigod, if the rays All right, of thanks. as an ally, I pray that you to face the I also pray that I'm fit. <laughs> I also pray that I am fit. Is there something else I wanted to do? Eh. Alrighty. So remember, stat wise, we're actually in the area to obtain one of the weapons I want. We need 16 strength, 16 dexterity, and 24 faith. So, I might just start dumping points in faith uh, to get to 24. We'll see. However, since we are currently in a little bit of a break, it's a good time for me to take my first break. Hey, because we are coming up on two hours. So, thank you all for watching so far. I will be right back in like two minutes after I go to the bathroom and grab a new wanter. So thank you all for joining me thus far 
if you are enjoying the stream or VOD, feel free to like it. I don't like asking, but uh, it is what it is and helps out the channel tremendously. Tremendously. Immensely and tremendously. Those are the words I just combined there. And I will return in but a moment. Here are our stats. I have returned. Good wishes and much loot, thank you. Wait, Melina still wants to talk? What's up, fair maiden? Weren't we just talking, though? Me? I'm searching for my purpose, given to me by my mother inside the earth tree, long ago, for the reason that I yet live, burned and bodiless. There is something for which I must apologize. I've acted the finger maiden, yet can offer no guidance. I am no maiden. My purpose was long ago lost. No worries. I search for my purpose as well. We shall both be anguished until we find our purpose. Okay. So, first priority, obtain the map. The map. The map. Ooh, bonfire, though. Oh, another merchant. Do I have enough? Ooh. We did just dump all of our souls. Did I ever go there? Hmm. I didn't really need to rest. However, hello. Well, you are nowhere near as friendly as your others. We could get a light crossbow. Ooh, you sell one of these for cheap. Well. Bastard sword. I'm going to buy your cracked pot. Ooh. And your smithing stone, too. Be well. And I'll be back. Probably. Those uh, stone sword shard thingies for that price is really good. Hello! Okay, I promise I'm not going to get too caught up in this. 
Also, I totally got distracted by my purpose of getting the map. <laughs> ah. You can make this jump, I promise. It is possible. And since you can turn torrent... Yes! No! Uh... Okay, let's go. You want to go this way? Turn torrent. You can, for this double jump, you can turn torrent towards any direction you want. So, it should be relatively straightforward. Should be. I don't even remember what's up here. I just know you can get up here. I'm pretty sure I did once. Torrent. I wish you could land on that. And yes, I'm pretty sure this is the only way up here. This isn't like a... A short... That one looked clean. Some high enough for that. Okay, I see. Oh, dear. Alright, here we go. Huh? I just fall along its side. There's a message here. Hello. Spirit spring required ahead. Wait. Really? Wait a minute. <laughs> Is this how you're supposed to get it? Wow, that is so much easier. <laughs> the Great Turtle Shell Talisman. Well, okay. Not a talisman. A shield. Shield fashioned from a great turtle shell. The natural curve helps it contend with foes' attacks. The turtle is a symbol of tirelessness. And this shield boost? Stamina recovery speed. Oh, we might be using that. I need one more strength. I think we're using that team. That is the Grass Crest Shield. I didn't know that. I did not know that. And this is a sealed tower. Quiet. I need to read. Seek three wise beasts. Oh, hello. Farewell. Is there a reason you lot have gathered together? I mean... Ooh. Alright. Wolves are basically like dogs, right? And I did say dogs were one of the worst enemies. I just protected with my sword. Oh, yeah. That's where we're at right now. Alright, now that it's quiet and I can think, let us go find our three wise beasts. I know where they are, though. I sense them. A disturbance in the grace. <laughs> I don't even know. Would a grace have a disturbance like the force? Um, where are the other ones? There's one more, and I think it's in a bush somewhere. There's probably a sign for it. Aha. The seal has been released. Oridishes rise. Could this be a precious item? No. Welcome back, kid events. Cut up what was left of a block of Munster cheese, honey ham, and got some crackers. An excellent choice. Although not a fan of ham myself. But an excellent choice. Da 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 The memory stone. These are very important for us. It gives another uh, spell slot. <laughs> Which right now we cannot make good use of, but in the future, we will. 
We are building a stable foundation for a great future, my friends. A confessor must be ready for anything. And to be ready for anything, you must prepare. Thank you. I really don't know what to do with this. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what to do with the Starlet Shards. I think I've seen one place where you can exchange them. And we're pretty far away from that. Okay. Where, oh, where am I going? Where, oh, where could I be? Lump. Thank you. Look at that beautiful aim. Oh. I am just on a roll tonight. Feels good killing dr these dragonflies. Feels real good. We have another catacombs. Really? Just replace ham with your meat of choice. Yeah. The Impaler's Catacomb. Vlad? Vlad the Impaler? Count Dracula? Speaking of Count Dracula, see? Look, we can have a third spell now. Not that I have one I can use. I haven't heard... Oh, no. What was I trying to say? I haven't heard any news of... Rogue Lords getting an update. Like, I know... The last update they really said... Was that they're working on... Come on. Come on. You can do it. They're working on getting porting the game to console, but um, I haven't heard literally anything else. I think they said their projected time was spring, but uh, spring's in full swing here. Ooh. Fudge. Fudge. Look at that. Did you see that sidestep? <laughs> I got your number. Vlad was also known as the son of the dragon. Is there a dragon nearby? Is this like a 200 IQ joke here? Impaler's dungeon or catacombs. And there's a dragon. Not sure how they would fit a dragon in here, honestly. Oh, hi. Okay. No matter. I'm not sure why there was only one person there. I think I just remembered what this place is. Oh. Yep. Yeah. I literally would not have figured this out if it weren't for you, Kiranets. Or was it Mini Reaper? Oh shit. Fucked up. Fucked up! <laughs> Excuse me? How am I supposed to get in there? I can't run? I can't make it? I can't make it while running? All right. There we go. That's the trick. <laughs> Secret. Secret. How? Hole ahead. Huh? Okay, great. 
So these sods. How do you think they feel about holy? Hmm. They don't seem to like it, but they don't seem to mind it. Let's see. Let's do a lot of damage. No. You were oh, you were the guillotines, that's right. So when infused. Please help. When infused with holy, I deal literally double damage to them. I think that's not a real fake wall. Dead end ahead, yep. Thank you. That one was Mini Reaper then. I'm just gonna leave. Just saw that, but two times back of holding with water, dive in it into a dragon's mouth and turn them inside <laughs> out to drown the dragon. That is fucked up. I like it. Somewhere, a heavy door has opened. And I got shocked by that. Okay. I don't know if you could hear my audible gasp. Oh, nice. Um, depending on what this is, I'm going to want my mana flask. But we'll give it a shot. Not like I have a whole lot of cell, uh, runes to lose. Uh, weak foe ahead. Group ahead. Dog ahead. Oh. Oh, it's the... Oh, no. <sighs> okay. Hold on. Literally, the worst part of this fight is just the ads. We just go get the ads, and life out is swell. We just go get the ads, and life is swell. I was prepared for a counterattack there. <laughs> Okay, double tap. Haven't touched the boss yet, and already down to no f one flask. Good. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Where's the boss? Right there. Okay. You and me. Heal. Last heal. This is going to have to count. Okay, he breathes fire. We spin. And swing. Whoa. He spins, but we jump. Here we go. Oh. That is fast. I missed. I knocked him out of the air! <laughs> I mean... <clears throat> calculated. Perfectly calculated. I want to leave. I want to go. We're good. We can leave. Okay. <laughs> Just you, me, and... The floor. Yep. Yep. But we got it. We are 1,400 souls away from leveling up. It's not too bad. Just replenish our stuff. And GG, first try. Not gonna lie, I kind of thought I'd have to do a second take on that one. But we got it, we got it. I remember I struggled a lot with that on Fable. And I'm not sure if it was just because I was worse at the game, or I had infinitely less health. Could have been both. <gasps> oh. What foul witchcraft is this? We have seen one of these before. Hold on. Hmm. 
You tried to use such witchcraft against a confessor. I am built to destroy this witchcraft. Which I probably shouldn't say considering who made this witchcraft. But hey. The sacred blade. And now it is you and me. Didn't have a stemma. Oh. Can you parry these guys? I jumped his attack. Look at that. Oh, my sacred blade. Well, it doesn't matter because he's dead. Foul sorcerer. Be gone. Return from whence you came. I kind of thought I got something for that, but that's okay. It's because you lacked faith as fable. True. True. Alcor has an inordinate amount of faith. Some would even say he possesses too much faith. Okay. I'm getting very lost. <laughs> and I think I got lost the first time, too. I really need the map. <laughs> we should we should go get that map. Am I I feel like I'm one Okay, I'm 600 away. We don't need to eat for that. I have all my flash though, so I don't need to sit. What is this? Oh, it's the wolf. We're back at this. Okay. So we can take a hop and a skip down. Now. And by a hop and a skip, I mean... Yeet. I hope I can get close enough. Look what it is. Please still be nighttime. We have located an emissary of the night. Well, we're going to have to put him down. He hurts. If I'm being perfectly honest, I don't know how to fight these guys. <laughs> like, I always just run at them with on tour until one of us dies. Usually. Okay. Ow. You have a very fancy flail, good sir. But you shall not succeed. There is always light at the end of the night. I literally just remembered, like, a Nightwish song. Ooh. Jumping attacks seem to be the way. If I can... Oops. If I can kill the horse, which seems really rude, um, I can get a, a huge crit on him. <gasps> so, yeah, this is about how these go. <laughs> Oh, oh, come on. Just one giant kerfuffle. Okay, horse is almost down. I'm going to go ahead and flask. The wondrous flasking. Okay, get down. There we go. That's what you get. Oh, we both did the same thing. The night. No. You get invulnerability frames during that. Bro. So do I. <laughs> there we go, night cavalry. 
Be gone before the dawn. The ash of war barricade shield and the night rider flail. 24 dexterity, wow. A flail with two additional bludgeoning heads. Weapon of the night cavalry who ride funeral steeds. The large spikes make it highly effective at inducing blood loss, but also demand higher dexterity to wield. I don't think we'll ever use that, but with the build that I'm planning, we actually probably could be able to. I haven't listened to Night Switch in a while. Neither have I, but there's this one song. It's one of their older songs, I think, that's like, uh, for my nights, I save my wish or something. Now I need to listen to the song. I give my nights for my, I don't remember. Anyway, let's level up and get this one point into strength. I know what I said about going into faith, but, um, <laughs> Hello, a bonus stamina region. How are you? Wow, this doesn't even have 100% physical resist. That's fine. I hate taking chip damage, but we'll see how this works. Like, in a worst case scenario, we just heal through the chip damage. We are a faith build, after all. <laughs> like, it's not the end of the world. Okay, finally the map. <gasps> oh, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Forgot about that. Yeah. Okay. Take a breather, Alcor. I was going to laugh if I got stuck in the tree. I'm still being shot, huh? I hate the bats. I hate the bats. I really don't want to have to look up where this is, but I will. Oh. I will if I don't find it. I am still being shot at. Hmm. All right, well. I really just wanted the map. There are still some things we haven't seen yet, so. We'll sit, that's fine. Reset our aggro here. I'll take a look at the map and see what we can see. Okay. So this is the map. Beautiful map. This is where we need to go. The, the Mourn Place, that's our objective, quote, end quote. But, there's stuff here we didn't see. I think, do I have to go all the way around to get here? This was the tower. I think this is where I want to go. It's been a while, though, since I looked at it. And by a while, I mean, like, a week, maybe? <laughs> Killing horses is how they dealt with cavalry in historic wars. Yeah. There was no PETA back then. Ah, chug and water. Hello? Yellow Ember. I think I'm on the right path. Yes, I see it. Uh. Do you hear the whispers of the void? It calls. Madness. It must be put down. Wherever we find it. For it is an abomination of grace. A mockery. This whole area must be purged. Yeah, I didn't find this place before. I kind of see how I missed it, but... <laughs> I 
I kind of felt like Arthas. Strathalo must be purged. Yep. I am totally a part. I think I said this before, but I am 100% a part of the Arthas did nothing wrong camp. <laughs> 100%. Oh, what's this? Nothing. Some rats yet. No, they're dead. Do they always have... Uh, grass shields never do. Ah, yeah, it makes sense. Lower resistances because... The stamina regeneration is really good. Yellow embers. I wonder what I do with those. All right. This is brand new content for me. I've never seen this before. But it matters not. All will fall. Oh, I missed a Merrick. Oh, that's a big one. The Kalu Baptismal Church. All righty. You shall be purged by light. The holy flame sears you. None shall escape. See, I told you. A sacred tear. Our flasks return to us. And the flame of frenzy. A dark power. A maddening power. But... You know what they say. Keep your enemies close. And keep your friends close and your enemies closer. In order to effectively combat the madness, perhaps we must use it. I had all sorts of plans for editing when it came to this. Alas, you're just going to have to do with my uh, impromptu role-playing. <laughs> That'll have to be enough, I'm afraid. You look like a Kame House student. Work hard, study well, and eat and sleep plenty. That's the turtle hermit way to learn. Yeah. For now, though. I'm just appreciative of the stamina regeneration. I'm assuming this wouldn't be very effective against them. You know, considering they're already mad. But, you never know. Also, I kind of expected to find a Shabriri eye here. Shabriri grape, excuse me. The flame crest wooden shield. That looked really cool. Okay. I found what I was looking for. Well, one of the two things I was looking for. And do you know what they say? I don't think I'm ever going to need Assassin's Approach. Uh, I didn't go here, right? I mean, I can check it out. I think I know what's there. But, uh... That is quite the fall. <laughs> I saw that. Oh, yeah, we were making our way down there, weren't we? Mm, yeah. Wait a minute. Is there... Is this a road up top? Is that an up top road? Or is that this? That might be this. I think it's this. Okay. You'd be surprised sometimes the things you are weakest to are the things you are exposed to the most. <laughs> True. Hi. 
Nice red eyes, I see. You guys don't seem horribly aggressive, though. You know what? That's fine. How dare you attempt to ambush me? We'll go there in a second. All right, team. It is time to see if this power, what truly makes this power great. <clears throat> this power great. Huh. Range is pretty short, but that seems pretty strong. It's a shotgun. No wonder this power is feared. It is not to be underestimated. Wield it only in small amounts, lest it consume you, as it has so many others. Wow. Are you just hitting me with that stick? Nope. Okay, here comes the magic. Alright. Here we go. Do not rely upon that power. For it is in faith that you will be guided. Demi-humans, queen, staff, and the crystal burst. We ain't doing no magic shite today. Well, this run. I was really excited when we got that staff. It's okay. It's nothing phenomenal. <laughs> Making my way downtown. Yeah. That thing lost so much HP. That was a charged a charged attack, but it was still really good. Like uh I could see our see us using that. The Faith Not Crystal Tear. I think that's what we want. I believe that increases our faith from our flask. I would hope so. It is called Faith Knot, after all. So since we're using the the turtle shell, we can replace the stamina recovery thing with it. You know, I wonder how it works here in mana. So like, right here. <laughs> it set it on fire. Now this is going to take a while. Hey, look, I'm floating. The power of the Elden Ring is a force many consider to be unnatural. Come on. Come on. All right. Well done. Oh, we got our flask back. Don't you have the thing on flask to bonus charge attacks? I do. Would that affect that, I wonder? Okay, so we're back this way. Um... Right, it was over here. Miranda powder. There was a... I don't even know what you would call it. A thing. Over here? For me to interact with. There it is. A guiding light. A torch, if you will. Hello. The only guide I need is Grace. But I will follow you. I'll see where you go for now. What is that? What is this? 
Ah. I don't think I ever actually came over here. Hmm. Okay. Uh, where'd you go? Oh. <laughs> I got attacked. Well. The Earth Boar Cave. We cannot level up. Nor can we if I eat a 200. What do we have? It can be charged, so it should be like the amulet. Yeah. Um. Hmm. So we can either increase the... Significantly negates damage. We can increase the charge. This would also affect our weapon. And maybe our L attack. Or we can just increase faith. Which would boost its damage as well. I assume. We can try the spiked one. I I imagine that would boost it faster, farther, harder. You know, words. We're at 18 faith. We need six more. That's not what I meant to press. Observant. I see a hole in the ground. The pickled turtleneck. Which is about the same thing as our, uh, our shield. It is dark. <laughs> it is mega dark. I'm going to try putting my seal in my right hand. See how that feels. Hello. Oh, I do a lot of damage to these guys. I like being able to see. I spy a very large rodent. A foul thing. Hmm. You know what I could do? <laughs> Just beat it. It's fine. See, perfect. For the wondrous physic, I could have... I could have just put both DPS things in it. Like, increase faith and increase charge attack. I could have done that. Got brighter, all of a sudden. So, uh, that's fine. Kokuri, glowstone. It got darker all of a sudden. These guide, guiding signs. It is now dark again. I hear snoring. Oh my. Ooh. Oh dear. <laughs> Seal in right hand's only way you know how to play. That's fair. Okay. We unleash the power of madness, and now we die. I actually think that this could be safe to do. Like, when we get into his belly like that. Well, not like that. Like this. That might just be the way. Oh, dear. Like this. Ah! 
Apparently that doesn't do any poise. That does, though. Let me get to it. Let me get to it. No. Fuck me. Should just hit him. We're almost there. Our first room build. No. Be free. Oh, that was almost really bad. Oh, the spell Drake Talisman. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why I put 20 points in figure. <laughs> we did it. Then again, I do like Perry into cast. Yeah, yeah. Parry into cast sounds fun. We might do that. We'll see. Although, so the reason I like my thing in my offhand, my left hand, is because, especially for this character, I'm probably going to do weapon enchants. That's kind of my, my plan. And that would require my seal being in my left hand. Of course, I can't do that yet, and I'm waiting for the day that I can, but, you know. Better to play that way and get used to it. Alright, so we got one of the two things I wanted, which means it's time to find the second thing I want. Which I believe I have to go here for it. I believe that's what must be done. Do what must be done. You take a week, like a weekish off of streaming, and suddenly your voice just doesn't know how to go for six hours anymore. It forgets. How quickly it forgets. Alrighty. So all I remember about this item I'm looking for is that it's over here somewhere. That's it. That's all I've got. It was near the first walking mausoleum I encountered. Which is that one, right there. Apparently housing the soulless demigod. There's a stake here. The tomb's word ruins. Hello, rat. Goodbye, rat. Carrying any diseases, are we? What matters not for your dead. And what's done here? No. Oh dear. Okay. That went really well. <laughs> Is there another one? Just one more, I think. I couldn't talk during that because I had to think real hard. <laughs> I hate fighting the pages. No hole ahead. Mm, what a shame. What a shame. Never been big on weapon enchants, ironically. Oh, really? We'll just put a secondary seal on that. So, the power of the seal doesn't change weapon enchants, right? And there it is. This is what I wanted. I know a lot of people use this, but... The moment I saw this weapon, I wanted to use it. The Winged Scythe. Sacred Scythe, resembling a pair of white wings, deals holy damage. According to pagan belief, white winged maidens are said to be death's gentle envoys. Unique skill, Angel's Wings. Jump and imbue the wing blade of the armament with light and deliver a slashing attack on the enemy. The white Wings impede recovery actions using a flask of tears. The old beliefs. We shall champion them as we follow the guidance of grace. 
So I need two more strength and six more faith. That's where our next eight points are going. <laughs> That's it. We're also going to need endurance, probably. Oh, there's another Everjail. All right, let's do that. Let's do this. If it doesn't, doesn't buy a lot. That's fair. Oh, this one's sealed. Do I have a thing? Nope. I know where to get a thing. Hmm. Hmm. All right, we'll be back. Let us mark this. Oh, it's marked. Okay. The Weeping Everjail. I wonder who's there. Oh, it's probably called Weeping just because we're in the Weeping. Got it. The Weeping whatever. So there's another Faith spell. Or not Faith spell. Madness spell. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, boys. Damn it. Damn it. Too soon. Here we go. That one felt good. That one fell too soon. Okay. Watch the weapon. That one felt pretty good. Wow. Wait, there's a dog? Wait, where'd you come from? Bro, I was having a 1v1. Okay. Wait, you shoulder charged me. I probably shouldn't try and parry this guy. He's scary. Literally, where the hell did you come from, though? Buy all my flasks. We deserve this. What? Ow. Oh dear. Okay. Where did you and your dogs come from? Up there? Why'd you guys decide to get involved? I'm very glad I missed. Or dodge. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. I told you I could do it. <laughs> I'm really bad at, at pairing the stab attack, so. There's a hidden cave. Oh, shit. Is it up there? I don't think I saw that. Where's the other one? Alright, fine. Do you want to be disappeared? Oh, look at that! I actually didn't know about this. Oh, I forgot. Not sure which. Thank you, Wanzuno. I hope I didn't butcher your name. The Tombsward Cave. Have I been here? I actually don't remember. Well, let's find out. I just need souls. That's it. Or runes. It doesn't matter where they come from. We must grow stronger to wield the weapon of our choice. Hello? Somehow I two-handed that. Oh, no. What disgusting heathenry is this? Let me switch shields. Mm. Foul worshippers of the rot, I think. Yeah, I've been here. I know why I forgot it, though. 
I put this shit out of my mind real fast. Ow. Oh yeah, there's even slimes. Okay. All right, let's get poisoned. Well, now that I'm poisoned, I can get poisoned again. Okay. Yeah, I see you, Mr. Slime. Why? Summoning other players. Great. Poison, be wary. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> Uh, I willfully forgot this place. Boss ahead. Oh, he's over there. What's the other direction? Uh, okay. Heathenry. Worshippers of the rot don't roll. Okay, great. Rolling required ahead. No, no. No, no, I see what you're doing. Darn. Not poison me. And I rolled into it. Okay, good. <laughs> good, 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 good. Well. Might as well go investigate. Rats? Um, I think I've come to the conclusion that I'm going to rest. So. Great. Might as well use everything, huh? Oh, hi. Uh, let's top off. Ooh, this is dumb. Or not. It was actually genius. Okay. The nomadic war- You're not dead! Wait, what? Is this the second one? What just happened? Did- Huh. Okay. Did one spawn from the one I killed? I didn't really forget that easily, did I? Right, it's in this end. Rare to see Perry on stream. Hope you pick up Stormvale Perry, Ash, and later Golden Perry. Um, I was going to go for the Buckler. But yeah, I love parrying. My toxic trait is that I believe I can parry anything. <laughs> Uh, I can't, but, you know, I like to believe so. Hey. <laughs> uh, I need a better heal, holy shit. I was kind of hoping this would set them on fire. That's okay, close enough. Alrighty. We got the Arteria Leaf. We've seen it all. Time to go rest. Get our flask back. And then fight this boss. Whatever it is. Yeah, suppressed memories. That's what this was. This whole freaking area of suppressed memories. Oh, Stormvale. Okay. Yeah, then we'll we'll get it. I'll pick it up. I'm, I'll give it a shot, too. Why not? I think in my first playthrough, I tried, um... Was it Thop's Barrier or whatever? The magic one? It was okay. Very need smaller shield with quicker reaction. Yeah. I'm better... I don't want to say I'm better. <laughs> I'm better at pairing with the Buckler. But, again... It's kind of 50-50. <laughs> I'm not the greatest at this game. 
I try my best, though. Hello. Do not let the poison reach you. Be shielded by faith. Okay, we made it. Boss time! What are we fighting? What madness. Oh, dear. Alright, here we go. This is actually going to work out well. Except for this part. Don't get mad. Alright. I think a flower is in my way. Oh. That's wondrous. Miranda, the blighted bloom. Wait, what? Viridian Amber Medallion. Don't die now. That would be embarrassing. Killed the boss, still died. Only in a fable stream. <laughs> All right. That worked out well. There's another madness attack. I started talking about this earlier, and I think I just blanked. Um, there's another madness spell. This is like a quick shot laser beam. I want that. I don't know where it is, but I want it. Um, let's level up. We're going... Uh, okay, we're going faith. We're rushing to 24 faith. Because we can make do at 14 strength. It's not going to be pretty. Does this guy respawn? But we can make do. No? Okay, good. I love their outfits, but I hate fighting those guys with the, with the big sword. Hello. I'm going to parry you. No, I'm not, because I have the wrong shield equipped. This is how I should do it. Look at that. That was clean. Clean and simple. But this is showing off. That's the thing I can do it. Three of you is too many. Alright, well. Okay, here we go. I can do it. I can do it. Almost. Too early. Wow. You can do it. I believe. I prefer only one of you strike, though. Mm. Was that too late or too soon? Okay, go away, please. I only want one of you to attack me. I like your shields, though. Could you drop that? Okay. That was the wrong time. There we go. Um, I'm not really sure like where his weapon was. I just, hmm. I'm bad at the stabs. I think that was too late. That one. Okay. I think... Okay, so I think the moment they start swinging, that's when I have to parry. Like, they pull their weapon back, and the moment it moves towards me, that's the parry window. I think. Okay. We're gonna try it. Good theory. Now execute it. Execute the hypothesis. I think I'm right. I think I could be correct. Ladies and gentlemen, he's done it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now to start parrying everything. <laughs> the fourth church of Marika. 
Is this a sacred tear? Please be a sacred tear. Thank you. Uh, wasn't the other new encant 24? I think it's 28 for the lightning strength. Which I don't mind going to, but I want to go to 24 first and then 16 faith. Let's see. Yep, 28 faith. I remembered. No, 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 no. I don't need that. Okay. I need to increase the amount replenished twice. Perfecto. Three times, in fact. Wow, okay. We have plus four flasks, but only five of them. I feel like I've missed something. <laughs> hmm. Ah, well. All right. I'm going to try again. Make sure it wasn't just a fluke. But first, I'm going to stab this guy. Okay. The moment the weapon comes flying at me, that's when we parry. Oh, that was too late, I think. Too late. Way too late. Too far. Too late. Too late. Too late. You can do it. I believe in you. Oof. I think I got interrupted out of it. There we go. It helps a lot when there's only one enemy. Look at that. I've got it. Okay. Now I just need to take that and incorporate it against a certain boss. And we're good to go. Alright, let's lower this. I'm tired of the bell noise. Currently, there is no reason for me to do this. There's no, no addendum there. There's no reason for me to do this. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Da -da 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 -da. Max, 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 max. This is our public service. We're cleaning the mausoleum turtle. Smack. Smack. Any more? Time to leave. Did we do enough? We did. Alright, farewell, mausoleum guards. We're good practice. Thank you for your service. I wish I got souls for that. So the mausoleums, for those who don't know, you can use them to duplicate a boss soul so you can get both the rewards. Is there something over here? Learning to parry with a medium shield will always make you better at parrying. True. True. I think I know the... the know the window now. But like parry shield and storm wall. Is that what it's called? They help with timing for smaller and medium shields. Making it more forgiving. If my memory serves, it's near the end of the bridge beside storm veil. Yeah, I think a few people have mentioned it. You're the only one who's mentioned where it is. <laughs> yeah, I think I like using the, um, what's it called? I've said its name like for the buckler. I like the buckler parry. But I mean, if I can get 100% block, like if we find a brass shield and I can slap Stormwall on that, I might just do that instead. Because the one thing I didn't like about the buckler is you don't have a a reliable shield. Like, it's pretty much there as a parrying tool. Okay, I'm deadly curious. What is this? Oh, merchant. Hey, do you sell one of those stone sword thingy-maboobers? I need one. Well, there's been an age since I've seen a customer. How can I help here at the end of the earth? Is this the end of the earth? You do. You also sell this. I want this. Uh, but it's less imperative than this one. I'll be back. Have a safe 
Don't worry, I'll be back. Okay, so the thing I'm deadly curious about. Um, this is kind of... Is this really a quest spoiler? There's an NPC uh, whose quest leads you here. And I didn't know about this place until the quest. Can I do this? The Witch Bane Ruins. Wait a minute, what? Did I hear what I thought I heard? Oh, it's that. I thought I heard a freaking Mariner. I'm like, wait a minute. That's not here. Don't do that. No, don't shoot that. No, don't hit me with this. Ugh. Okay. Great. I'm rolling in poison. It's never what you want to do. Hey, could you random bolts hit this guy instead? Hold on. Okay. So what I'm curious about... Yep. The ambush shard. Can I talk to you? It will do no good, I swear it. And yet you persist. You frothing degenerates. Can I help? This seems to be suffering. I mean, I can put you out of your misery. You look pretty trapped. Okay. Well, that's something. Don't kill her. I won't. I know she's for a quest. I was just wondering. I was curious if you could interact with her before, like, you knew what she was. And I guess you can't. Also, I didn't get much for killing that thing. Pity. Alright, well, my curiosity has been sated. <laughs> you too? Yeah. Uh, I haven't actually gone to her elsewhere yet. I suppose I can do that later. I just remembered what this was. <laughs> we have ourselves here a lone tower. A few knights protecting it. And a blessed, of course. Hold on. Hold on, we can't have none of this. A tower of return. I refuse to get shot in the back by a ballista. Again. Hold on. One minute. One moment. I like how unbothered they are by this. Hey, stop. No more. Oh. What? Thank you. Rune delivery service. Well. This is a nice tower. I wonder why it's called the Tower of Return. Oh, no! Faith build can't remember any weapon early game, but the gold halberd, uh, the strength requirement. Too high. Yeah, I'm not using the golden halberd. I am working towards this. Kid of told you, the winged scythe. And I'm getting pretty close. I really want to use it. Ever since I saw that weapon, I was like, this is going to be mine someday. Um, well, we have been teleported far, far away. Oh, that map opened up part of this. Interesting. We are incredibly far away. There's a trap to Altus? Altus? 
We are currently at the Divine Bridge. Strong foe ahead, indeed. I'm going to see if I can fight him. <laughs> oh, I'm much better at fighting the archer ones. Oh, that hurt. It's fine, though. Wonder how the fate, how he interacts with the, the spell. I'm gonna try it. Oh, you can't run off. Okay, probably not. Well, let's just put that away, shall we? Okay. Hold on. Okay. Now, where were we? Where were we? <laughs> Getting very lost. <laughs> Down you go. This is what I should be doing. Unlock. Straight into the chest. Okay. I hate locking on. Holy shit. I lock on because I played a spellcaster, and, you know. Locking on helps with spellcasting. But I really shouldn't do it. Oh, yeah. Oh. One more source of healing. And that's the Wondrous Flask. I can do it, though. We can do it. This can be done. We can get our free souls. <laughs> Wondrous Flask. Jump. 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 Oh. Look at that. Ooh. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Yes, I love this talisman. That's where this was. The Blessed Dew Talisman slowly restores HP. Against this guy, heavy tanks are very strong. With just three charge strengths, they fall. Less with heavier weapons. Hey, Groth Garrick. Yeah. Uh, jumping attack works, too. <laughs> we did it. Easy as pie. Okay. I know I just said that having the Wondrous Flask heal me was cool, but I'm going to switch it. We're going back to the Faith. Or we're going to Faith, I should say. So, uh, we got a really cool Talisman. I love that Talisman. I can't use the Teleporter. What was I doing? Oh, yes! This. This. Love the talisman too. That's why I always go there first before I kill any boss. Any boss. Wow. I've killed a few bosses. Back on Hello. Your job, did this aged merchant have something that caught your eye? Yes. I require this. In fact, I require more of these. But um, wait, did I buy one already? I forgot. I think I did. Can I sell some of these? Gonna buy another one. And more of this. Thank you. Have a safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Let us smack a few 
individuals here. Uh, GG, thank you, thank you. Back to the parry shield. To show off a little bit. Uh, does the ballista come back? I don't remember. I should probably check. Before I have fun. Like I said, the giants are easy to uh, deal if you use heavies and just crit them. Yeah. Except for the ones... Ah, oh, it is back. Does that... That doesn't work on the ones that have um, armored feet, right? They're much later in the game, but... I'm pretty sure that doesn't work as well. I actually didn't kill him on Fable. Until much, much later. And I came back and I just, like, destroyed him with magic. I think it was one of the many... Nope, don't open that. I almost opened it. Uh, one of the many victims of Comet Azir. Oh. What? Are you stuck? Ah. What was that? Oh. Huh. You're lucky I don't have a magic I can throw at you right now. Because I would. Is he trying to climb the ladder? Alrighty. Good job. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Good job. I'm so proud of you. Well, that's the easiest that guy's ever been. Alright. Hello. Get your torch out. Do not blow a horn. Let's have a good, honorable fight. Ooh, that's the whole charge. Okay, that's a torch. A good, honorable 1v1, gentlemen. All right. <clears throat> As I was saying. Mm -hmm. There we go. I think I have to pull the trigger as their attack starts. I think. Pretty sure. I know I said I figured it out, but I'm I keep doubting myself. That is a lot of screaming. I realize you're dead, but it didn't hurt that much. Jeez. Oh, these are the guys screaming. I can't kill you, right? Can't put you out of your misery? Alright, well. Is that an Ash of War? I think it is. Stupid bats. Nailed it. <laughs> nice parrying. Thank you, thank you. I love parrying. I'm not the best at it, but I love it, so... I can't wait until I fight my first Crucible Knights. I was inspired by this dude. I think I saw... I think it was on Reddit. Um... Which I don't visit very often, so I'm kind of impressed I saw it. Stupid dragonfly. There was this dude who um, was using the parry buckler, or the buckler, the parry, and he was fighting the dual crucible knights, which are much later. And uh, he would just every attack he parried, every single one, like he had them both stacked on top of each other, and he just parried them. I was very inspired. Impressed, inspired, whatever you want to call it. I was all of it. Okay. Come on. Thank you. All right. Ugh. 
No. Okay. Thank you for my flashback. I thought you were something else. Try jump attack. Bravery. Try attacking. Well, I'll take my flasks, I suppose. Perry God, yeah, it was... It was a sight to behold. I hope to one day come close to replicating it. I have lots of time to prepare. Especially if I play the same way I did my first time through, it took me forever to get to the capital. Which I believe is where that fight is. But we'll come across a Crucible Knight before then. Ow. I hate the bats. Wait a minute, wasn't I here? It was. Yeah, because this is where the Earth Tree was. Okay. Stupid bats. You guys might be useful if you gave more souls, you know that? This is where that harpy thing is, okay. Hey, I don't suppose you give me Golden Rune 6 again, right? I missed. <laughs> Please don't run off, Torrent. Okay. You didn't see me. You didn't see me! Well, that kind of worked. Well, that's a lot of poison. <laughs> yes. Alright. You and me, Harpy. You foul thing. Oh, that's a lot of poison. Did she try to grab me? What just happened there? Farewell. Did you drop another one? No. Oh well. I gave it a shot. <laughs> Never learn parry. At least you roll. At least you roll. Okay. I think... Did I go to the beach? Is this a beach? I don't think so. However, I picked up the stone sword key for one reason. And that, my friends, was to challenge the Ever Jail. So we're going to go do that. Whatever foul magic is trapped away there. Oh, you're back. Just stay there, okay? We shall conquer. At least the stake is right here. I legitimately don't remember what's here. Well, that guy's using the scythe. Great minds think alike. Wait a minute. Do you hear something? Oh, it is a beach. Oh, shit. Well, we're going to go there next. Also, that's just a health thing. We're not in need of that just yet. Alright. Strong foe with great gift. Okay. Did you mention dual tree knight? The golden parry ash on one of the uh, balconies just before those two arsehole knights? The golden parry. I think I remember that. I'm so far away from that, though. The ancient hero of Zamor. Oh, he doesn't like holy. Oh, I remember you now. Yep. I... Oh, my goodness. These are just normal enemies later on. In, oh, I missed. Fuck. In the game. And I hate fighting them. Absolutely hate it. Like, I'm pretty sure I just ran through the place. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. We don't need to see this. Well. I'm sure this will be fine. Uh. Oh, 
Okay. That's not a particularly useful spell for me. Uh. Okay, let's back up. Heal. Sacred Blade. By the light. Be seared by the light. Okay, we both missed. That's fine. That looked like a very powerful attack. I'm fine with it. With us both missing. By the light. Ooh, good roll. Ow. This is fine. Seared. Ooh. This is my window. Heal. Roll. And boom. Screw you and your frostbite. The Radagon Scar Seal. Oh, this is how you get that. Ah. This one really hates holy attacks. Good. Good, because I have holy attacks. <laughs> so this increases all of your, like, melee stats, but you also increase the damage you take. How do I see that? Can't you, like... Um... There we go. Wow. That is... I didn't realize how detrimental this was. Get a huge boost to resistances, though. What the heck? Hmm. So some of those numbers are getting bigger, and some of them are getting much smaller. <laughs> much smaller. Hmm. Hard to say. I might use it, um... When, when I have enough faith to wield the scythe. I forgot that was this one. Hello. Um, I could use my flask before I fight all this stuff. Thank you. Okay. Now. What are you hiding? We somehow jump past each other. I rolled. I object. There we go. Did you know that these guys eat their own limbs? And heal themselves that way? But if you just punch the beak, it's easy peasy. I'm gonna kill all your children. Okay? Alright. It wasn't a fan of that. Which I mean, in hindsight, I understand. Wow, you are mad. All right, my turn. Come on. Thank you. This one is the plus three. Yeah. Are you not dead? Okay. I mean, the plus five is like super late game, right? So is that a message way over here? Sure is. Hello? No life ahead. Try jumping off. <laughs> yes, let's jump off into no life ahead, huh? That sounds great. That sounds fantastic. How do you kill that which has no life? Referring to gamers, of course. Seek Lord, so to speak, praise the bird. Oh, I remember this. I mean, I just remember this, like, unholy horde of undead stuff. You guys aren't even really worth anything. Like, killing them, it's just not worth it. Hello. Don't mind me. Ooh, Golden Rune 5. Don't mind if I do. 
Okay. Well. Good job. You know what we could do? Oh, that's silly. <laughs> I just had a thought. Back unusual. Did this Yes, 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 you did. This thing. Have a safe journey. How much do we need to level up? Kaylid is the plus five. I think you're right. Really? Really. Good rune farm. If I need a rune farm, I'll do it off stream. Back over it. Unusual. Did this yeah, yeah, yeah. Just take this. Thank you. Have a safe. I could have just eaten if I was only going to sell one. So, um, there is a... A particular area that we now have enough stone shards to access that um, completely destroyed me on my first character. And I'm thinking about going back there. <laughs> but you know what? Let's finish this area off first. Arena is counting on us. Where's that? It is back here. The hidden door at the start of the game. The very big, well, not hidden, the sealed door. That you need two uh, stone shards to go in. It absolutely de destroyed me. And I had to come back like, I don't even know what level I was when I came back. Was I 50 or 60? <laughs> I was strong when I came back. I might have even been higher than that. Uh, what? Oh. Um, okay. First of all, no. Second of all, no. Oh, gosh. Okay, I didn't know there was a death bird here. That's fine. We, c we can overcome. Adapt. I wonder if I can get the giant to shoot it. Whatever the hell is shooting me. Hey. You paying attention over there? Thanks for killing one bat. Ow. I have a death bird here for you to kill. Okay. Okay. Um. How ah, that caught me. I want a sacred blade. Just because you want to do something doesn't mean you should, though. You do not like holy, do you? Okay. Oh, you do death blight. Holy shit. Well, this is the solution. Ow. One more swing. Oh, shit. Thank you. Oh, I got lucky there. Yep, that was luck. The sacrificial axe. Yeah, I didn't fight this guy. Am I being hit? Nope. Hatchet used an ancient sacrificial rite. A death bird is depicted as a malevolent deity. The power of the rite yet lingers. A small amount of FP is restored upon slaying a foe. Wild strikes. Swing armament with wild abandon. Hold to continue swinging. Can be followed up with a normal... Or strong attack. Well, you learn something new every day. Okay, Mr. Giant, can you wait? Uh, did you get the dragon seal from there? That's where it is, yeah. Um, I haven't gotten it yet. I haven't visited. I was just saying that I think we could go there now with our seal, but I kind of want to wait because we are 32. So I kind of wanted to wait until, you know, I have my weapon up and running. <laughs> And uh, a little more health and endurance, mayhaps. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. The death bird is dead. That's a That sounds like a really cool weapon. I might try and use it. Just to see what it's like, you know. Technically, I can right now, right? It is a heavy load, though. What about if I unequip that? Where, oh, where? Hmm. 
So if I... It looks pretty cool. What kind of damage are we looking at? Eh. Okay. It is a very small hatchet. All right. Screw you. It is not ideal for fighting aerial foes. All right. Looks cool, though. This is a moment where we can let our talisman do their work. While we faff about. I recall... Oh, a warthog. I don't recall a warthog. I recall there being a... Tree. In the vicinity. There's the... Sh the absolute bastard that keeps hitting me. Or shooting me, I should say. What? I haven't been hit yet, but... GG, thank you, thank you. That Deathbird fight was really close. If it wasn't for that weird elevation, I probably would have got pecked to death. That's okay. Hey, I fought a really big version of you, so can you just be as chill? Oh dear. By the way, there's a really easy way to deal with these archer giants. And basically, it's you walk, like, right in front of them and get them to start shooting you, and then you just go behind them. I know. Whoever would have guessed. Okay, so that's gone. Um, there are some very angry jellyfish over here. Why are you mad, bro? I see cha there are chairs in the water. So are you, like, gonna attack me? That is the strangest looking poison I've ever seen in my life. Okay. Alright. What the heck is this? Somber smithing stone to the arterial leaf. Beautiful. I needed that. Very good. All right. We are in a poisonous location. There's an item up there. With lots of yelling again. And many zombies. Okay. Poison Bloom and Zombies. What a combo. You were correct. It was a smithing stone. Luck? Close? <laughs> it was all as planned, indeed. All according to Keikaku. You could even say that I have faith. Okay, thanks for just letting me kill you, bear. I just didn't want him to sneak up on me or anything. I had faith that it would all work out in the end. My faith in the grace is currently ironclad. Oh, what was this? Is this nothing? Oh. Okay. Hello, bear. I killed one of your friends. Did you see that? Maybe. I recall... Aha! You're gonna leave me alone, okay. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting oversized weapons. Okay. I don't know if that was necessary, but... Hey. Got it done in style. Was he, like, attacking the wall for a reason? Or... Oh, he was chopping up the body. That's right, that's right. So... This is where we came in. Was there not a tree here? 
I kind of remember there being a tree here. Hmm. Maybe not. Ooh. I spy with my little eye. Something very glowy. Poison mist. Oh shit, is that a fate spell? I think I missed that. That is not the button. It is, and I can cast it. I can poison things. <laughs> Is that something a confessor would do? Yes, probably. Okay, there it is. I knew there was a thing here. There's also a catacomb above here. Really? There's a catacomb here? Here's the freaking tree. Knew there was a tree. Hmm. Is it near the beach? Bear knew you had faith, so let you do as you please. Good. It's true. I was in the scarab. Can I go over here? No. What is this? Don't give up. Tree? Ah, oh, the tree gave up a while ago. So why are you here, little scarab? Usually these things are here for a reason, right? Maybe. Maybe it was here to recover from the dogs. <laughs> Maybe that's what it was. I'm sorry, Torrent. I don't know my right from left, so I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Golden rune. Let's just top ourselves off, shall we? Um, do I need mana? I have like one sacred blade left in me, I think. We'll save it. Will you kill the one with the axe and wings? Wait, really? Back there? Giant crab here, maybe? I didn't see one. I know sometimes they can spawn out of nothing. But usually when there's crabs spawning out of nothing, there's um, baby crabs as well. And I didn't see any of those. So, I'm going to go with no crab. I'll take one more look around for the catacombs, and then we'll jump into the, the castle. That's when things are really going to get spicy. Maybe wrong area? No problem. I don't recall there being a catacombs here either, but I'll check. Maybe we're over here. This is not where the axe guy was, by the way. I was just checking since I was here. <laughs> Can I get up there? It's kind of looking like no, but that's never stopped me before. <laughs> oh. No. Oh. That's a goat I killed. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait one darn two and second. Where am I? Oh, this is just another way up here. I see. Okay, we followed that path earlier. That's how we got to the madness place. And got my madness spell. My first of hopefully many. The catacomb need to go above the giant area where the tower to the west. Not here. This one? Hmm. I 
think I went in that catacomb. I've seen most of the catacombs in this zone, I think. Unless... Wasn't this where... Yeah, this is the dead end. Oh, hi. You know what? You let me go before. <laughs> Proceed to West Coast. Uh, bear. Bear. Please let me look at my map. Don't make me kill you. So if it's this catacomb I went to, if it's that far north, if that's the one, then I already did it. Then I already cleared it. Got the Impaler out of the way. So now it's time. Did you have anything I wanted, Mister? I think you did. You yes, yes. Yes, you had one of these. Good. I'll take it. All right. You know what else we could do? Eh. Yeah, we should do that. <laughs> Being indecisive here. We can upgrade our sword a little bit, I think. But on top of upgrading our sword, we can upgrade our scythe. Our scythe. I cannot upgrade my sword. Okay. Well, we can upgrade this. Plus two. I think my sword needs... I wanted to upgrade my sword because, um, really? Can see if you have enough for poison breath. Oh, I do. I can equip that. You should upgrade at round table. Yeah, but I don't know when I'm going to get there. <laughs> I don't remember what the conditions are to spark the round table. And I remember faintly struggling here in the castle. So... I went to go upgrade just in case. And there's really no difference between upgrading at the round table, that thing, or um, EG. It's just location. All right. So, we didn't go over here. I don't remember if there's anything over here, though. Besides a cool graveyard full of swords. The Siege of Castle Morn. A lone hero fights for his vengeance, only to fall at the hand of Lord Godfrey. I mean, I'd say that if you fell at the hands of Lord Godfrey, you did a pretty good job. You know? Okay. Now remember why we're here. We are here. At the request of a fair maiden named Irina. To deliver a letter to her father. That's pretty much it. Okay. They had flamethrowers. Not bad. We'll sit. Alrighty. Here we go. What terror awaits. I'm gonna need my shield for this. <laughs> uh How dare they? 
celebrate the death of innocent people. I mean, probably innocent people. I fucking hate dogs. <laughs> uh, I should have rolled out of that. I was trying to. I am the bone of my sword, yeah. I still don't have a bow. I don't think. Yeah, I still don't. I mean, I have this. It doesn't count. All right. Well, that was a good start to this area. But, well, and, I think that's a sign. We are approaching four hours. We're only ten minutes away. It's already almost been four hours. So I'm going to take this moment to take my final break. You know, stretch a little bit. Slap my face to get back into concentration, and I will be back in three-ish minutes for the home stretch. So thank you all for joining me thus far. I will be back. If you are enjoying the stream or the VOD, feel free to leave a like. It does help out the channel, and I appreciate it. I will return. Here are our stats. We are making our way to 24 faith, so we can wield the scythe, and I shall return, hopefully, more awake and ready to dodge the stupid dogs. Be right back.
All writing. I am back, my friends, <clears throat> for the home stretch. The last two hours of the stream. Thank you all for joining me today. Let's conquer this castle. Ooh. Alright. Dogs, we block. We counter. We strike down. The foul fiends shall not be permitted to live. Our table requirements may be saving at any grace site either on Lu Luernia or Kaelid. Oh! Ah. Well, we have a while to go for that. I mean, I could... I could just take a hop and a skip over to Kaelid. That is entirely within my capabilities. That was so much easier. <laughs> that was so much easier. Alright. Now for the other dogs. Wait a minute. What's happening over there? Also, why didn't I guard counter? Like that. I don't know. I don't remember this being a thing. Should we go help him? I mean, humans over demi-humans. We are the ones guided by grace, after all. Alright, well. Can we be friends? I just killed him for you. No. No. No friends? Friends? Nope. Okay. I don't remember that. Well, no matter. Now what the heck am I going to do with this? <sighs> I don't know. What if we don't do anything? All right, good job. <laughs> Sanctuary stone. Do you have summon yet? Uh, I do have a summon, but I am not doing any summons this run. This is a no summon run. I mean, probably. I'm going to do my best to make it a no summon run. A challenge to myself. You can't remember this because this never happened. Oh, that's fair. Related to the last patch? Maybe. Ma there was a weird thing where... Um, like, I'd get experience here for something dying. So maybe it just... They spawned in and died, maybe? Oh, I remember this. Oh, I very clearly remember this. I felt like Gandalf for a second. I have no recollection of this place. I can just fall down here. Screw that. Okay. One at a time, please. Oh, shit. Good enough. RB spam. What about you? How do you feel about this? Triple. Out of the sky. Alright, that worked out. Trying to remember all this. I see the ladder. Ladder good. I kind of remember there being... Ah, okay. We have a grace. But there's someone I must see first. 
after I go here. This area confused the crap out of me. My first time through. I sense a disturbance in the force. Ah, <laughs> I faintly remembered. I faintly remembered. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, I forgot. Let me see the lovely little keep tower thing. So we can go down that way. Where the grace was. Cool. I'll explore everything. Don't you worry. I'll get to it all. But we are here, first and foremost, to deliver a letter. I promised the fair maiden that I would assist in her cause, and that is what we shall do. Or her quest, or whatever. Do not fly. Do not fly. Do not fly. Thank you. Yeah, I thought the fighting was here. Maybe the fighting's already over. Like I was at half health. Hmm. Did they fall? I don't know. I don't know why that was there. Yo. Are you Adrena's father? Uh, there's a face I've not seen before. I'm Edgar. Warden of this castle, as ordained by Lord Godric himself. But you can see how things have turned out. Poorly. The menials have all rebelled. They gave me good service, or so I thought. But it seems it was all an act. Foul creatures, as it said. And true enough, they're foul inside and out. I'm sorry to disappoint you. But whatever you come here to do, I'm afraid Castle Morn won't hold much longer. Take this, by way of apology. Great, thanks. Hey, I have a letter for you. I see. From Arena. Thank you. I'm in your debt, but I can't leave yet. Even if the castle should fall, as commander, I must remain to ensure the treasured Sword of Morn does not fall into the wrong hands. Well... Your daughter's blind, right? If you see Arena, do tell her that her father will come for her once he's fulfilled his duty. If you see Arena, do tell her father will come for her. Very well. I shall tell her post haste. I do not agree with your decision, but duty does call to us all, I suppose. I suppose it does. Thankfully, we have a grace over here. I think it's over here. Be wary of dung. Hello. Okay. Let us return, as promised, post-haste to Arena. To let her know of her father's message. Well, she's dead. <laughs> yes. Yes, she is. That is unfortunate. All right. Back to the castle. I think I have to go this way again. Okay, so now that we've got the, the story out of the way. Wait, revisit? Again? 
now that we got the story out of the way. Is there a way to save Irina? I don't think so. She's there. Very unfortunate. Oh, that's later. I have to um, clear the castle first. I'm not, for those who don't know, I'm not going to spoil it, but in chat, <laughs> um, is there a way to save her? I don't think there is. No problem. No problem. I know exactly what you're talking about. I was going to do a fun little editing trick there if this was going to stay as a video series, but that's okay. Streaming Elden Ring is really fun, so. I don't mind. Okay. Is the fighting back down here again? No. I don't think it is. What? <laughs> they literally just didn't spawn down here. Okay. Well, whatever. I'll take my free souls. Thank you. Okay, dokie. We must deliver this news. Actually, I don't... We'll deliver the news post-haste. Not sure? Yeah, me neither. Hello. Because there is actually... Ooh. I did say no spoilers. <laughs> Look at that. Perfect aim. And the other one fell off. Perfect. Out of the sky. Can I do a critical when I knock him off like that? This would hurt. I said no spoilers, but there is a reason. See, this is where the fighting is supposed to be. Wow, you are so outnumbered. A uh, reason that Irina had to fall. For it was guided by grace. A reason for all things. Out of the sky. That was freaking rude. I saw what you tried to do. Kill them all, it's fine. Okay, mister. I have bad news for you. Oh, he's gone. Ha. Okay. I don't remember him leaving this soon, but that's okay. Maybe we'll stumble across him again. Have faith, yeah. Okay, so before we go down the other path, I want to try and fall into that one area that looks terrifying. Is it this one? It sure is this one. Because I can just teleport. So what's here? Hello? Knock, knock. I'm not a demi-human. Claymore. Claymore is one of the 
like most hardcore anime series I've ever watched. Hello? Oh. Is that literally an execution? <gasps> well, that was your okay. Okay. Hold on. It's fine. <laughs> got a little messy there, but we got it done. That might have been an actual execution. You watched anime, uh, Claymore Anime 10 years back? Yeah, it's pretty old now, isn't it? It was hardcore. I don't think I ever actually finished it. We find ourselves with more fighting. Nope. Hold on. Hold on. I wonder if I leave them alone. Do you think I can drag these two into it? Well, no need if you just kill them. All right, fair enough. The steel wire torch. I'll look at that in a second. Or I can do it now. Is this the pole arm? Torch wound with metal wire. The flame can illuminate dark locales or be used to attack enemies. Heavier than a normal torch, but the heated filament boosts fire damage dealt. Skill Fire Breather. Blow into torch flame, spreading flames in a wide frontward arc. The flames on the ground will continue to burn for a short while. Oh. So it's an offensive torch. Got it. Alrighty, boys. Let's go. Hmm. Time to see if I remember what I'd learned. Too soon. Okay. Shouldn't have even tried that one. Mm. Okay. Now that it's just you and me. There we go. That's the easiest for me to read. Okay. Anything else over here? Oh? I wasn't gonna miss you. There is an item right there, and I kinda sorta want it. <laughs> but is there anything else over there? Not really. Besides death. Now, what's up here? The tallest part of the castle. Oh, is this just another path? Hmm, okay. Could this be... item? No. It was you leaving a message to give the illusion of an item because you're a rude boy. Massive rude boy. Alrighty. Now then. Boss ahead, therefore praise the weak foe. Didn't expect something incredible. That's the boss pit. Also, there... I think there's a really good item here. Jumping required ahead. Thank you. I hear a scare. I hear the dung beetle. Uh, what if we just go slow, huh? Oh, great. Let's not die to this. Okay. Now, what are we looking at? Lots of enemies. But they're... Cowering? I mean... 
they're still enemies. Power ring or no. This isn't like we're out in the open. When demi-humans surrender. No, no, no. They have besieged the castle. That's they are all our enemies. I probably can't poison this thing, huh? This slime. And my damage, my non sicker blade damage is really bad. Ah, well. So, what's in here? Ooh. Also, I bought this for a reason. Let's use it. And I bought this for a reason. Let's use it. Is that all? There's only one in here? Hmm. Pickled turtle deck. Please help. I am of noble blood. So am I, really. If those hideous mongrels eat me, I will be forever marred. Anything but that, please. Think of the disgrace. Like the disgrace I'm showing this slime by just <laughs> gently rotating around it. Ow. Okay, I get it. I mean, that was lore, I guess. The all-important lore. Um, I'll tap a heal, sure. I'm so high! Oh, you held that forever. Um, I'm so bad at parrying these guys. <laughs> In fact, I'm not even going to try. I can barely dodge them. If my Sacred Blade didn't wear off there, I would have killed him, but we got him anyway. You can parry them. It's just a little tricky. Because of how much they hold their freaking weapon in the air. There's a lot of that in... Elden Ring, and I bet it's all just to taunt the old school Dark players. The old school Dark Souls players. It's like, I'm gonna swing my weapon. I'm gonna swing my weapon. I'm gonna swing my weapon. The twin blade talisman. A talisman depicting a twin blade and a confessor. Oh, that's me. Enhances the final hit ending a chain of attacks. The twin blade technique is a tradition of the confessors who closely guard the secret of how they preserve the momentum of their attacks. Thus is the final strike of their onslaught all the more deadly. Should I be using a twin blade? I might try a twin blade. There is a particular twin blade. Oh, that's late, isn't it? I think there's a a faith twin blade or a faith ish twin blade. Is this where I'm supposed to go? I hear something. Where is the shiny? Oh, it's right there. We got it. The tarnished golden sunflower. It is tarnished, just like me. Um, but I'm pretty sure the twin blade I'm thinking of comes from literally Mountain of the Giants. <laughs> so that's really far away. Maybe it comes from sooner, I don't know. Okay, we go down. Thing stone to Okay. The only question 
is what is most important for me to kill here. I think it's gonna be... Ooh, I didn't even kill it. Oh, there are so many of you. Hold on. Immunity frames. Oh, dear. Uh, too many rats. Rats, there's so many rats. It's okay. We got it. Divide and conquer. The whip. We found the whip. I have never done a whip build of anything in any game. Not true. The Bloodborne whip is awesome. The whip in Bloodborne was like a... a what are those things called? An S-Dock plus a whip. It was disgusting. I really enjoyed that one. Outside of that, though. No, it was a cane and a whip, wasn't it? That's what it was. It was a cane whip. Yeah, I like that. We are three levels away. Three levels. And we can use our weapon. Well... There are a lot of jellyfish here, aren't there? So who is over here? Hi. Nope. None of this flying shit. Okay. Listen. Pretty sure I talked about how long they hold their weapons, and here I am, just rolling like a madman. Oh, he fell. Falling does not kill him. Note to self. Note to self. It's fine. It's fine. We're just gonna go kill the one sleeping in the ground because we're not having any of this flying bullshit. Now we back up. We have that. Our faith is rolling. Okay. Great. <laughs> I don't even need to kill this guy. But I'm going to to prove a point. In fact, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. I'm going to parry him. I'm going to parry him. Oh, I shouldn't do it. I should not do that. Scale blade. Ooh. Or not. Thank you for the backstab. That's probably what I should be looking for here. <laughs> All right. So, what's with all the jellyfish? Precious item ahead. Really? I see the boss. Kind of chill in there. A nice red mane. Somber smithing stone one. I mean, sure. Somber smithing stones are good. I see an item in the corner there. You thought you could hide from me. Okay, whenever there are smaller crabs, there's usually a bigger crab. It's actually... <laughs> I almost said lore appropriate. Real life appropriate for crabs to kill smaller crabs.
Crabs will eat baby crabs. Zero remorse. Fire arrows. Cool. If only I had something with which to shoot those arrows. If only. I should find out where to get just the basic longbow. Because I'm sure one of the merchants sell it, right? They typically sell all sorts of starter gear. And doesn't the samurai start with the longbow? I kind of thought... Try two-handing. Could this be something incredible? Maybe? Um... I kind of thought the jellyfish shield came from here. Is that wrong? Oh, I have upset all the jellyfish. Can I actually repost this? I don't think so. I am glad that two jumping attacks just knocks him down. Ooh, look at that dodge. I don't even remember what the point of killing these guys are. A Crave Glovehort? That guy's using the scythe. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't come from here. Anyway. Time for some boss fighting. So, I uh, am pretty not good against this boss. This is one of the characters that I ran away from a lot. So we're going to see if I have conquered my fear of him. Oh. <laughs> and he's not Mega Weeks Holy. And he got me. <laughs> Ooh. Good start. Where are you going? If I remember correctly, every single one of these misbegotten that I have fought on my first character, I literally just ran away and magic them. Pretty sure that's how that worked. But, you know. What? Oh! Huh. That's why he disappeared. You can summon him here. I wonder if that prevents the inevitable. Well, anyway. Oh, he got hit. I'm gonna try something. Oh! <laughs> Feels good! Alright, come here. Okay, that was a bit much. Ow. Oh, that was... Dumb of me. Oh, really dumb of me. That's an opening. Okay. He can be parried. My only concern is sometimes when I'm... <laughs> sometimes when I take parrying as my strategy, I focus so hard on parrying that I don't do other things. <laughs> I laser focus it down. Which is obviously not the brightest thing to do. I'm just going to ignore my souls. It was only 900. Okay. Here we go. Sacred Blade. Okay. Way too soon. Good 
heal time. Good parry. I'd love to get a Sacred Blade off, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Now? Okay. That was a parry I could have gotten. We met in the sky. We hit it again. Wait. Post. GG. GG. The grafted blade, great sword. Well, the moment I say I'm not going to care about my souls. <laughs> the storied sword of Castle Morn, a revenger's weapon. It is burdened with oceans of anger and regret. One of the legendary armaments. A lone surviving champion from a country now vanished was so determined to continue fighting that he claimed the swords of an entire clan. The Oath of Vengeance. Swear an oath upon the great sword to avenge the clan, temporarily raising all attributes for a certain duration. While the Oath's effects are active, poise will also be increased. 40 strength. That is an Oonga Boonga weapon if I've ever seen one. GG, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <sighs> nothing, they're nothing to fear. They're nothing to fear, especially when you can Oonga Boonga them. Okay. So now we have to go report to the Castellan. And I'm pretty sure I'm just going to run this. He's up top, right? That's what that's saying. Elton, so glad you're back to streaming, Fable. Welcome back. Thank you. I'm feeling better. Mostly better. And thank you very much for your donation. Got that New Zealand dollars. <laughs> Hopefully, the schedule will be kind to New Zealand time for a while. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I just, my body naturally gravitates towards this weird schedule for American time. Like, I've only ever lived in America, and pretty much the same time zone. But it's just like, you know what? You're going to prefer waking up around midnight. There's just no getting around it. Every time you try and change it, your body's going to reject it. And you're going to suffer. So why why change it, you know? Just embrace it. Just embrace the schedule. Do, do, ba, do, boo. I really don't want to kill everything again, but I'm pretty sure if I try to run some of this, I just freaking die. Pretty sure. I could try it, but I'm, like I said, I'm pretty sure this is not going to work. You know what? Uh, all right, screw it. When else will I try this? Well, I think one just fell to its death. That's a good start. Okay. So far, so good. Get down. Alright, that worked out. <laughs> that worked out well enough. Didn't get many souls off that, but who needs souls, huh? Oh, that, the ghost startled me. I'm in your debt for keeping the sword from those fallen creatures. It's mine now. I'm no longer bound by duty. I'm safe. 
Rescued Arena, I will spend my remaining days with her. Yeah, about that. Thanks to you, I will be reunited with Arena and devote my remaining days to her. Ah. Arena has a gentle nature, though. I only hope it remains intact. Yeah. That's that's not the only thing that's no longer intact. You, and devote my Rina as a I only hope it All right. Let's go see Really? Really. Okay, I guess I deserve that. Fine, come here. You know, I threw the knife because I wanted only one of you. <laughs> All right, last one, come here. Really? I'm in combat with you now. You seem very stuck. Can I fix this? All right. Let's just go touch the bonfire. It's fine, it's fine. Is this a new character? It is indeed Elton. Well, this is a... This is Alcor, the character that I was doing the video series for. Uh, I'm just gonna make. I'm just gonna stream him. <laughs> um, where was she? Ah, yes, here. And I agree, the white hair against the black cape looks really cool. He uh, he starts with this thing, which you know is fine and all, but this just looks so much better. Look at me. I look like I'm ready to confess. Er. I'm not confessing. I'm making other people confess. Yeah, so about this, Mr. Yeah. Brina. How could this be? My daughter deserved better. The fault lies with me. I chose duty over my daughter's safety. Minya. And that is how fate has answered. It's pretty fucked up, isn't it? I'll find them. The foul wretch is responsible for this. I'll hunt them down and exterminate every last one of them. Rest assured, Arena, it will be done. I'll find them. The foul wretch is responsible for this. I'll hunt them down and exterminate every last one. Rest assured. <clears throat> no I'll lover ahead. The foul. I'll hunt them. Rest well, I'm sure nothing can come of nothing bad can come of this. I will leave you to your grief. And I believe this is the conclusion of this area. So. What do I want to do now? <laughs> Let's go over here. Now, I ran over here uh, before this stream because... Oh, I have a few souls for this guy. Where is this marker? Because I wanted my wondrous physic and I wanted a sacred tear to start off. Because I knew we were going to Castleborn. Castleborn traditionally gave me lots of problems. So I was like, alright. I'm going to be more prepared this time. So I have access to this place, but I didn't do anything here. And there just so happens to be somebody for me to, to punch. Real good. Hello, Mr. Merchant. Did you have something? Sorry. Uh, oh, hey, uh, terribly sorry. Oh, I didn't realize you came back. I did. I mean, I wasn't here to begin with. Ah, the cracked pot. Thank you. 
This is where I got the bandit mask, by the way, if anyone's curious. No bow, huh? Almost a... Have I met Bok the demi-human? I did. This is the same character as um, that series. So when I met Bok in the whatever episode that was. There's no mistake, is that <gasps> death has left its mark once again. Hi. Yeah, um, hold on. You're important, and I'll be there in a second. Oh, wait. Did you mean have I met Bok the Demi-Human after? Because I have not. After we did his quest? I have not met him again. I know where he is, though. Um. He's... I'm sorry. I cannot give you your proper rights. Far away. But at least you did not join those who live in death. Your soul will return to the Earth Tree in time. Honeyed rays of gold deliver this spirit. I've never seen this before. Hello, good sir. Ah, a tarnished, are you? Indeed. I'm known as D. I hunt down those who live in death and weed their death root. Heed my warning. The village here has been touched by death. And worse yet, it is home to a mariner. If you value your life, then go no further. But what if I want to fight? The village here has been touched by death. Turn back while you still can. Nah, I don't think so. Village here, turn okay. back. Well. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to turn back. That's fine. So I've never actually met him before outside of the, you know, round table. But he did have a point. This village is touched by death. And we just so happen to be really good at dealing with death. So, let's go deal with it. Where is it? Hold on. You'll all get your turn. Just give me a moment. Hello. You think this is going to stop me. Look at this damage. Oh, a double kill. Alrighty. Good job. <laughs> uh, death Root and the Skeletal Militiaman Ashes. Well, that was easy. I told you we were good at dealing with death. From ashes to ashes. From dust to dust. We return the skeletons to their rightful place. Buried in the earth. What is this? Likely master. Could this be a friendship? Could it be? Well, let's ruin it. <laughs> what are those? All right, don't know. Oh, yeah, the way gate. That's a good shout. Um, although... Am I a friend? Is he friendly? <laughs> If I haven't met D or talked to D, you know, let's go see what D has to say before we uh, press anything. <laughs> Good or great? I would say that was a great performance. Yeah, great. We'll go with great. In fact, it could even be so great that it's worth keeping this short sword. 
and leveling it up just to pull it out when fighting death, you know? I mean, we'll see if our other weapons eventually catch up. I imagine the weapons I'm picturing will. Where was he? Yo, D. Mr. Hunter of Death. Where were you at? Oh, I didn't kill that guy. Um, I thought it was over here. Am I crazy? Oh, yeah, it was right here. Well, he's gone. Okay. Wheel. What's the name of the sword? You need one. This is the the broad sword. Uh, this is the weapon that the confessor starts with, but with an asterisk. It has the sacred, the sacred blade ash of war, which you actually get right over here. Like I think I got it literally from here somewhere. Just slap it on any weapon, and it. It kills the undead. It acts as... Well, it is holy damage, so it acts the same way as from Dark Souls 1. Skeletons will not respawn. And it is so nice. Holy crap. <laughs> and you saw what it did to the mariner. I imagine it'll do that to all the other mariners. Ooh, hello. This is why we bought stone sword keys. Sir, killing turtles is illegal. <laughs> There's only one turtle in my heart. Okay. <gasps> this is what I think it is, isn't it? This is what I think it is. It's only worth four souls. We'll leave him be. They're not harming nobody. This is the green turtle talisman. This talisman gives you improved stamina regen. Ah, uh, kind of sucks that I can't wear this and the Blessed Dew talisman. Hmm. Well, we'll go with this setup for now, because this... Do these stack? These don't stack. I don't know. I'd probably have to run the numbers to test it. And we all know how good I am at that. <laughs> Alrighty. So there is something here that we can explore. Look at that. I remembered. Oh, also there's a fort for us to explore too. Why did my brain go here instead of the giant fort looming in the distance? Not sure. Oh, I remember what this is. Oh wait, I can level up. This will bring us to 22 faith, right? Yes, two more levels soon. What? Hello. Hold on, I need this. Are you the legendary Alexander? Ah, if it isn't a tarnished warrior. Hello. Are you traveling my way? I'm heading to the festival at Redmayne Castle on the southern edge of the scarlet, rot blighted Kalid Wilds. Oh, no need to be coy with me. I can tell from your bearing you're skilled in the arts of combat. Why, thanks. The mere thought of such a festival gets the blood pumping, eh? I am the warrior Jar, Iron Fist Alexander. And according to my calculations, passing through this road should lead us to the Kalid Wilds. But however you slice it, it seems we've reached a dead end. I was created to be a warrior vessel. Many... Great warriors reside within me, ever dreaming of becoming a great champion. It's my destiny, and the reason for which I quest. It is my ordeal, you could say. 
To test myself, to better myself, to fell ever greater foes. And then, one day, we'll be a single great champion. The greatest of them all. What do you think, eh? How do you rate my chances? Highly. <laughs> I believe in you. I was many. It's okay. My best. It is my and then. What do you think, eh? <laughs> Are these bloodstains because they try to fight Alexander? Why is he there? Isn't he supposed to be stuck in the ground somewhere nearby? I think so, but hey. New game? Nice. Gonna start mine as a bubble blower. <laughs> this is a new character. Um, so I don't have access to my bubble flutes. But I wish you luck. I've seen hilarious things from that. Those things are so much better than I thought they would be. I thought they were just a pure meme weapon, but nope. They crush. I mean, and it's a meme weapon. But is it really a meme if it kills everything? That's the question. All right, well, we're going back down to the church. Uh, in case you didn't know, this church is where you find the wondrous physic, which I picked up before the stream. Yep. Nailed it. Dragonflies deserve it. Why are there wolf corpses here? Oh. oh. Ooh. Yes. Go. Fight! Allow me to profit off of this. <laughs> Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ow. Fuck, it hurts. All I want to do is poison this thing, okay? That's it. Do not turn around. It's been poisoned. Good. I think it's been poisoned. Yes, it's been poisoned. Okay. Now we wait. Ooh, it got knocked down. Oh, shit. I'm pretty sure I can't do anything about that, though. Like, great, it got knocked down. Now what? Okay. How we doing? It's just me and one wolf. There's only one wolf left. Are we? Torrent? Getting off you, Torrent. Do not stand up. Do not stand up. Well done, Poison. And many wolves. Okay. So what was the point of this? <laughs> what was the point of this again? You can't go in there, right? I don't think so. Oh. Dung. You have a bad thing about this. I always have a bad thing about room bears, but we nailed it. Definitely a good time. Glad you're enjoying it also. I love this game. <laughs> Even when I was wiping to Melania, I loved this game. So I thought I'd do it again. Except this run is a no um a no summons run. So I'm just gonna have to get good. <laughs> What was over here? There's a quest nearby, right? I think. Oh, of course. If there's a beach and you can't see any enemies, guess what there's gonna be? There's gonna be some freak. Huh. 
Huh. Can I make that jump from up there? I don't think I ever saw that. How do I get that? It has to be like a descent thing, right? Hold on. Try jumping. What? No way. There's no way. Where would I even go from here? Yeah, I don't know. That seems like a fall from up there sort of thing. I have to go get it. I've never gotten that before. Waygate? That might be a good idea. That would give me a few more offensive spells as well. Um, where exactly is it? Is it right here? It could be right here. All right. Okay. Please, mister, do not be mad at me. I come in peace. Oh. <clears throat> mister, I come in peace. I have done this all out of order. <laughs> I have arrived by touching a random waygate. And who might you be, good sir? You would like a death root. I possess one death root. Here you go. I don't know how I knew how to give that to you, but here we are. I smell it. Death. Feed it me. Sure. <laughs> Tarnished. Bring more deaths. I shall grant thee eye and claw. Feed me more. Great! The claw mark seal and the beast eye. I shall grant feed. Okay, we get a new seal. I'm pretty sure this seal isn't better for me. It does scale with strength, oddly enough. But for our purposes, I think the finger seal is just strictly better. Um, There is no world in which I kill this. <laughs> or is there? <laughs> Can you poison? You probably can't poison this. Oh, 47. Yeah, this isn't happening. But, you know. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We'll leave that be. To kill the gargoyle, I'd have to play perfectly for a long time. Which, let's be honest, probably not going to happen. Alright, anyway, back to where we were. Here it is. This is what I want. Um, we'll go here to jump to get the item, and then we'll head towards the quest guy. I think he's meant to be accessed early, but just him. <laughs> Thus the real. Yeah. An easy way into Kayla. Well, wait a minute. I went to Caleb. Can I talk to you now? Hi. Forgive me. I've been testing you. Rude, but to understandable. If the Elden Ring would truly have you, if you had the metal to endure this long and arduous path, it seems my worries were unfounded. Torrent had your measure from the very start. Whereas I merely pretended. There is but one other thing I can do to offer you guidance. I can take you to the round table hold, gathering place of tarnished champions, guided by grace. Okay. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. Gargoyles are immune against all status effects. Oh, great. 
Well, at least my my uh, theory was correct. It makes sense too. The round table holds. Hello. Oh, this is a rare occasion. I can't remember the last time a new tarnished made their way to the round table. Very well. As your senior, I bid you welcome. It is safe here. You may let down your guard. Thanks. Allow me a word of advice. As your senior, you are a mere visitor to the round table. Nothing more. A house guest. Yet to earn their keep. Remember your place, newcomer. There's nothing left to say. Great. Hey, mister. We met before, didn't we? You've met Garank, I take it. Then owing to our duties shared, we are now comrades in arms. I think you've earned this. The power of the Golden Order to aid the hunt of those who live in death. Thanks. Who are you, mister? I serve the Golden Order, that I might put this crooked land to rights, following only the guidance of the Great Elden Ring. Those who live in death fall outside the principles of the Golden Order. Their mere existence sullies the guidance of gold, tainting its truth. And so it is, the vermin must be exterminated. Down to the very last. Huh. Any... Oof. Okay, well... Thanks. What about you? Oh, I see you've just arrived. Indeed. Welcome to the Round Table Hold. I'm Corin, a man of the cloth. Oh, hello! I teach incantations. The strength granted us by the two fingers. And explore the secrets of the Golden Order. So that one day... If a tarnished of the round table hold should become Elden Lord, I might counsel them, ensuring order regains its proper form, writing rule over men. By the way, do you still see it? The guidance of grace. Indeed. You do? Wonderful news. Most tarnished are blind to it these days. You are something of a rare breed. Well... What do you say? Care to learn an incantation of the two fingers? Of course. So, urgent heal we began with. Here's a regular heal. Cure poison, magic fortification, flame fortification, rejection, catch flame, or flame sling. Well, rejection... Seems good. I haven't, I haven't really tried pyromancy. I'll get a fireball, sure, why not? Also, the ability to cure poison sounds pretty good, too. <laughs> May the golden order. And with you, fellow man of the cloth. Ah, hello. You must be new here. Greetings. I'm, well, just call me Dialos. The honor of one's house holds little import in these lands. By the way, have you met a young woman named Lanya on your travels? Nope. She's my servant, but fickle as the wind. Take your eyes off her for but a moment and she's good as gone. If you find her, please be sure to tell me. I don't think I've ever found her, but sure, dude. Be sure to tell me she's a servant to my yep. husband, my companion. Yep, great. Got it. Hello. You're a new face. No matter. It's all the same. Lay out your arms. Let's get smithing. Great. Oh, look, I can strengthen my sword. Nice. Okay, now I cannot. <laughs> About the chains in your legs. I see you've noticed the chains. Indeed. Nothing special. I'm a prisoner and these are my chains. I'm trapped by the hold. I'm dying, smithing for you fools. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Now, you're a prisoner? No, don't read too much into it. Well, no grudge against you. 
My being a prisoner is no fault of yours. Besides, I don't mind smithing. Despite my differences, the weapons get stronger all the same. Given time, technique never fails. Besides, it helps me forget. The sheer terror of her. Okay. Of her, huh? And last but not least, I think. Greetings, great champion called by grace. Hello. I am Fia. Circumstances have compelled my stay at the round table hold. Great champion, would you allow me to hold you? But briefly. Why? Perhaps you might share with me some of your lively vigor and your stout heartedness. Doing so will grant me the warmth of a champion. And you, I am sure, will bear a Balderkin's blessing. Do you think it vulgar, perhaps? Where I come from, it is a sacred act. No, thank you. I understand. Your disdain is only natural. But should you change your mind, come pay me another visit. There is no need for me to be held. Yet. <laughs> I am strong and unwavering. So, oh yeah, you, I remember. Right. Right. Offer head. What? <laughs> okay, great. Never change, Dark Soul players. Never change. Okay, this is what I was looking for. And there is, in fact, one longbow here. Can I afford it? I think so. Perfect. I also want the memory stone and the stone sword key, but all things in good time. All things in good time. I don't have a bell bearing for you, do I? I don't think so. No, okay. I did not think so. Alright, we don't need to use the bow right now. Talk to you, talk to you. I kind of want to get rejection, but I don't think it... I don't know how good it is. Um... Sure. Any sp any Furthest I can happily spare the time and applaud your enthusiasm. Of course. My fellow brother. I guess I could learn catch flame. I don't see the point of catch flame. I'm not gonna do it. May the golden And you as well. Alright, so that was the table of lost grace, the round table hold. I can see that, huh? Uh, right. Please let me teleport here. We're gonna go get that item now. For realsies. <laughs> Going to the clergyman gives you access to the round table. It does make sense. Okay. <sighs> Melina, what's up? I would like to explore. Spoken echoes of Queen Marika linger here as well. Shall I share them with you? Sure. Very well. In Marika's own words, my lord and thy warriors, I divest each of thee of thy grace. With thine eyes dimmed, ye will be driven from the lands between. Ye will wage war in a land afar, where ye will live and die. Well... Perhaps that might serve you, in lieu of a maiden's guidance. Um... Sure. So she... She took from her warriors the guidance of grace. To send them away to a faraway land where they would fight and they would die. 
That sounds pretty rude. <laughs> I mean, I guess she is the queen. She can do what she wants. Wow. Thank you. I definitely didn't know how bows worked until just now. Oh, I need to... Oh... That fall is not happening. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. How do I get that weapon? Or that item, then? Hmm... I don't know. I'll take one more look at it. Can I like... Hmm. I don't know. This sign made it sound like jumping up here was the way, but... I mean, you can do a little bit of jumping here, but not much. Not anywhere near enough to get up there. Wait, what? <gasps> oh! How the hell did they get up there? Okay, this is going to be the bane of me. <laughs> This is going to be an easy death. Oh. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I hope that item isn't good. Because <laughs> I don't think I'm going to try again. I think that was all I had in me for the attempts. Like, I knew I was going to die trying to get there. We died trying to get there. Shocker. Like, if the only thing left that I can think of is to actually just try the fall. Even though I'm pretty sure that is a death. Look how far that is. Ah, uh, whatever. We'll move on. So what else is here? Beaches usually contain something. Oh, look, there's a giant crab. Where there were small crabs, there are big crabs. My sword is doing a lot of damage now. But I do not have a lot of stamina. We need to start being points in endurance. Ow. Ow. The strip of white flesh. That's what you were protecting? Really? Okay. Before we go this way. Oh, we have another thing. There is an area. I can sense that someone requires assistance. It's a disturbance. Hello? Is anybody there? Someone who might be interested in rescuing the great Kenneth Height. Servant to the true order and celebrated repudiator of the false. Oh, Ertry, grant me succor. I'm sucker. Ah, you've come to lend me your aid, have you? Well, that's that's very kind, but um, no, no, the help is very much appreciated, even from a tarnished. Despite appearances, nobility is no prerequisite to serving the true order. You might have heard of me, Kenneth Height. Next in line is the rightful ruler of Limgrave, the Untarnished. I would have a boon of you. I want you to take back my fort. 
It lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. A knight commander from Stormvale took it, a fool, and plumb mad to boot. Simply obsessed with blood. Sure. What are you waiting for? A kiss goodbye? My fort lies to... Oh, I see. You wish to know the reward? Fret not. The great Kenneth Height is known for his considerable largesse. The celebrations will be lavish indeed upon the dawn of my fort's retrieval. Okay, great. I totally believe you. <laughs> A kiss goodbye. Good one. Good one. Bonk. So you were besieged by demi-humans, huh? I have quite the experience killing them. Quite the experience indeed. You could even say that I am an expert demi-human hunter. So this is going to be interesting. Magic Grease. Mm, bonk. Alrighty. I don't think anything's... Oh, there's the giant guy. Do you want to fight the giant? Hmm. You know what? Sure. Let's probably equip my new spells. Am I in range? Nope. Ah, well. Uh. Alright, let's not talk about what just happened. Get in the crotch. Everyone knows that's a safe place. That's just Dark Souls Rule 101. Where's your head getting to me? In a place I can't get to, huh? Alright, fine. I don't even have, like, the raptor. The raptor cloak or whatever, but we're just jumping away. <laughs> that scammer, yeah. Jumping away. Okay. We killed the giant just to say we could. And now we must go to the fort in the south to claim it. For whatever that dude's name was, I totally forgot. I'm, um... Not really too keen on fighting all these frickin' rune bears, though. Like, we know they exist. They know we exist. Let's just coexist. You know? There's no reason for me to fight you. There's no reason for you to fight me. I think we picked this up. This wasn't even a fight. It was just a tree. <laughs> but you know, that's fine and all. Make sure I know where we're going. Which I don't. The south. We could go down there, but I'm going to save that for when I'm a little bit stronger. Because I hate it down there. Oh, I... Oh, there was that thing. Was Oh, uh, there was that thing. Uh, that, what would you, the lantern? I need to go get that. Before we get too distracted here. By this, um, would you call this an ambush? Open for business. Okay. Where? Are you over here? Aha! Ah, welcome, dear customer. Hello. Yes, right this way. Right. Welcome, valued customer. Come, trade in our wandering emporium. Yeah, sure. Please, buy something. I'm hungry. I've been hungry so long. Please. Why not? Assuming you have something worth selling. Sure. Um, I have just enough to buy both of these. 
Thank you. I should probably buy these arrows, too. Just get a few of these under my belt. Like that many. Okay, yeah, cool. Thank you, Mr. Merchant. I should be saving all my runes to level up my faith, but... It's good to grab this stuff while you can, you know? Okay. What? All right. Well. If you have the opportunity, might as well take it. So about that poison mist, how do you feel? Good? Bad? None of the above? Ooh, this was just a chest. The Axe Talisman. A talisman depicting an axe and a warrior enhances charge attacks. The lord who led the long march before an axe, or bore an axe, and his loyal warriors honored him by wielding axes of their own, making them very effective at dealing decisive blows. Yeah, so about this. Um, I'm gonna leave. Good show, old chap. Ooh, chest. Almost missed that. Maybe I should have missed it. Hi. Do I do anything about that? Where was the thing? It was near the front, right? Did it just lead me to that? I can't remember now. It's been so long. I think it did, but maybe it didn't. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. There it is. I think it does. But there's only one way to find out, my friends, and that is... Oh. I can't touch it. Okay. That means it leads there, right? If you can't touch it, you've been to the place it would lead you. Did I loot all this stuff? Yes. Cool. Don't mind me. I'm just walking through. Making sure I see it all. Or most of it, anyway. You know, you never know what's hiding in the deepest parts of the forest. Or, you know, most of the forest. Is this... Ooh, are we going to fight some undead? I'm really good at fighting undead. Yes. Sacrificial twig, okay. Great. <laughs> oh, it feels good to fight the undead. They went from being one of the more annoying enemies to just being an easy peasy lemon squeezy. Except for when my, my buff wears off. Why are there so many flowers here? Jeez. What you guys doing? Pollinating the graves? I need to change my spells too. Imagine if I had a fireball right now. That would be nice. Same as statues, no touch after completed. That makes sense. Okay. Here we go. I don't know what the effective range of this is. 
that'll do. Let me repost you. Okay, we're not. He tried to hit me. I mean, that makes sense. Really? No more? Ow! Okay. That's what you get. Silly flower. I'd almost ask how he knew where I was. Or it knew where I was. It's a flower. But... Aren't there multiple flowers that react to touch? In a multitude of ways. Okay, so I know where we are. And I don't think there's much over here. But I'm still gonna look, and I don't want to miss a golden seed if that is what's over here. Ooh, sarcophagi. I love pillaging sarcophagi. It's not a very man-of-the-cloth thing to do, but... They're all dead, and I have use of their... their runes. Easy peasy. Our weapon has grown strong. Proud of it. Its reach is still a bit of a problem, but we can we can overcome that problem. Oh. Hello. Look at that damage. Oh, that's beautiful. That wasn't even like critical or repost damage. It was just me smacking. I mean, a two-handed smack, but a smack. Holy damage is where it's at. And we have a grace. Nice. I don't have any souls, but I have a grace. Is that just supposed to be the grace closest to the, the fort? Ah, ah, yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> Look at those very bizarre things off in the distance. That is not something I think I want to be around. I do not believe so. Now. We have a ballista. Attention, Fort whatever your name is. I am here to liberate you of the demons. Or the demi-humans. And the unrightful rulers. Or... Commander, or whatever the hell you were. I was going to... Backstab for immunity frames. Yeah, I need this. Thank you. Where are you looking? Ah, too late. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. Time out. I don't appreciate there being two of you. All right, you and me. I heard something that I didn't like. Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> okay, last try. There we go. Hmm. I think... This little pause that happens, I think that's the parry window. It's so small. Wait. Mm. 
soon, too soon. Double too soon? Too late. Come on, you can do it. Too late. Oh, don't even try. I felt like that one was good. There we go. I feel like some of them are good and some of them aren't. All right, your turn. I can't parry you, so. I hit your giant pumpkin head. I think that also would have. Okay. I wonder if I should have picked up heal. Virgin heal suffices. So what's over here? What is behind your castle that I am attempting to liberate? Nothing? We can just go around in one giant circle? Huh. Okay. Cool. Cool. That's fine. There's a giant that's dead there. I guess you could have jumped up this, maybe? Oh. We have some fire throwers. And presumably explosive barrels. And some rats, because of course there are rats. What if I just go to the high ground? <laughs> I knew you'd be here. Okay, hold on. There's another. Ooh! What was that? Wait, the rat's really gonna follow me? Oh dear. Hold on. Uh. Freaking rat. Rat, please. We're trying to have an honorable 1v1 here. Bro. Ow. Okay. I can throw stuff too. The moment I rolled, I was like, that's way too soon. Okay. That's fine. Before we go upstairs, kill everything. I want to have an honorable 1v1 with that man. Who dares use the power of blood before me. The light shall sear him. Also need my souls back. Oh, the pumpkin returns. That's not what I thought. Okay. Also, I think I could have gotten another flask. Oh, I almost made the jump. Hi. Well, okay, good enough for me. Okay, let's get rid of this stuff. Hold on. Hello. Yes, yes, come in an orderly fashion. One at a time. Okay. Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 6. That's important for something. Remember what, though? Wait, the pumpkin head is following me? Oh, dear. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go deal with these guys up top. <laughs> okay, good. Does the pumpkin head continue to follow me? He's a little dazed and confused at the moment. But he's got the right spirit. 
You're going to go away now, right? And I thought fighting rats was hard while fighting that guy. Okay. All right, bub. You and me. What if you can parry that? I think you can. You know what else you can do? The art of war. Bloody slash. Isn't this like the most powerful Ash of War in the game? Or one of them? Bloody Slash, blood oath skill granted by the Lord of Blood. From a low stance, coat the blade in your own blood to unleash a rending blood slash in a wide arc. I'm pretty sure it's really strong. Alright, well, what were you protecting? Kenneth did say that he really liked blood. <laughs> and you know what? He wasn't wrong. The Dectus Medallion left. Left half of a split medallion depicting the Erdry. Brandishing the medallion with both halves conjoined will activate the Grand Lift of Dectus, connecting the Altus Plateau to Leonia. The right half is said to be to reside in Fort Feroth in the Dragon Barrow far to the east. You know, I always felt like that was um, a little far. <laughs> but hey, you know, hide it wherever you want to hide it. Okay. If I... I go here. I don't remember how this works. So I did do this quest before, but I conquered the fort before I found this guy, so I could just like double talk to him and be like, oh, yay, we did it. Great. Hello. I'm back. I've been waiting for you with bated breath. Did you manage to recapture my fort? I did. Oh, excellent news. Just wonderful. And the knight's dead to boot. Indeed. Well done, my friend. Well done indeed. I knew I was right to trust you. Now, here's your reward, as promised. Go ahead. It's all yours. The Erd Steel Dagger. Thank you. Right then. Time for me to head to the fort. I've much to do. First, I'll have to re-establish communication with the Demi-Humans. What's Good that? Good luck. You don't believe me? Well, under the Erd Tree, co-mingling with the Demi-Humans is made possible. Even the Volga shall not be left behind under the rule of true order. Which is why I, Kenneth Height, next in line as the rightful ruler of Limgrave, have sworn to uphold it. Just you watch, my friend. Just you watch. Okay. Ah, yes. I've, uh, I've been meaning to ask. Would you like to enter my service? No. I see bright things in your future, stout warrior. Enter into my service and learn the workings of the Erd Tree's true order. And who knows? Perhaps sometime down the line, the grace of gold will return to those tarnished eyes of yours. What say you? A fine accord, is it not? Yeah, sure. Very well, very well <laughs> indeed. I knew I saw something in you. I shall await you at my fort. We shall hold a ceremony for your knighting there, I think. I see great things ahead of us. We are truly by the Erd Tree blessed. Truly. Right then, I've much. Okay. Ahem. <clears throat> Time for the wake up call. <laughs> he sounds like an upright guy. 
equality under the Erd tree. And upholding and discovering the true order of things, he sounds like he could be a swell fellow. Wait a minute, there's no enemies here. But there's plenty in here. Ah. The demi-humans took over while I was gone. I mean, I suppose it makes sense, right? I killed all- I killed the commanding knight. So what was left for them to do? Take over. Really only makes sense if you ask me. I'd never put those two and two together before. <laughs> all right, Messia. Oh, before we talk to you. Dagger. Our first stabby stab. Right here. Seven strength, twelve dex, fourteen faith, one tin crit. An Erd steel dagger with a grass crest engraved upon its blade, carried by the Erd tree royalty for self defense in times of peace. Though forged to a high standard, the weapon is difficult to wield. Attack power also scales with faith. Quick step skill. Skill prized by the crafty and fleet of foot. Perform a quick step maneuver that allows for circling around locked on targets. That could be really fun. And I can wear it too. Hi. Ah, you is it? Uh, I suppose you must have seen it by now. Yes, the sorry state of my foot. Yep. Oh, indeed, it is a foul fate for a land to be without a ruler. One must be found with haste, and not that awful Godric, but a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. So like you? I'm sorry to have lifted your hopes, but I haven't the authority to raise you to knighthood as things stand. The great Kenneth Height issues his sincerest apology. But now, I must begin my search post-haste for a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. I must begin for a true... He's quite arrogant and impolite, but surprisingly, he accepts all living beings. Yeah, I know, right? He's very strange. And this was just a huge change in character when he realized his fort was destroyed. <laughs> Have I gone here? I don't think so. How do I get there fastest? Maybe I did go there. Maybe I didn't. It's looking like we're getting real close to heading into the Stormvale Castle. But before that, let's just make sure I've found everything that needs to be found. But I've seen everything there is to see. I'd hate to miss something. Bop, bop. I'm really looking forward to getting the buckler. <laughs> I really want the buckler. Oh, we have a nice little shack here. Okay. And there is a grace. Ah, there's a painting. Is that? Homing instinct. This could be near the beginning. Like over here. I'm gonna go check. I'm a check. I think it's around here somewhere. Who is that person on the side? Who's this? Oh, right. Oh, well done. Well done indeed. 
You made it through that entire mess all the way to Stormvale. Did I? And off you trotted to the round table hold. My sincerest congratulations. But how did you find the round table? Oh, you don't have to say it. Before, the round table was chock full of venerated warriors. But now, it's home to puff chests and has-beens. I fear you've been terribly disappointed. I don't blame you. But still, the round table has its perks. Why not earn a seat? Fly straight and true, so to speak. Yeah, sure. Ah, then you're interested. A wise choice indeed. To join the round table proper, you must acquire a great rune and request audience with the two fingers in the inner chamber. They are the purported masters of the grace that guides your kind, the tarnished. Hmm. Yes. Pay them a visit. So that you may see for yourself. The Masters of Grace, you say? Challenge Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale, to acquire a great room. Decrepit he may be, but a demigod he remains. And of course, an inheritor of a great room. Worse yet, I hear old Godric's acquired a ferocious new toy to graft. So, prepare for the worst. Thank you, Vare. I think I will indeed go kill Godrink eventually. Eventually. Okay, so. If I were to take a peek... If I were this painting, where would I be? Oh, I think it's over here. Is it? It's one of these, right? Aha! I knew it. Here it is. The Incantation Scarab. <laughs> Golden Scarab worn directly on the head. These scarabs roll clumps of incantations during their labors. Slightly reduces the FP cost of incantations, but increases the damage taken. As a scarab approaches death, it abandons its rolled treasure and stretches its wings wide for the long journey to its home nest. I'm glad I knew that one. This is where I was. There wasn't much more to see over here, right? It might actually be time to begin heading to Stormvale, where many glorious things await for us. Of course, least of all, to begin following the guidance of grace. Where am I? Okay, that lady just points us to the cave we went into. At the very start of this stream, actually. <laughs> and now we're up here. Okay. I guess we can go from that way. <laughs> but where's the fun in that, huh? Imphead Corpse might be nice on this build. Plus two faith, no negative. Oh, I don't know where that comes from. Long ago, we stared at this gate and we saw what dangers awaited. Now, it is time. 
that we push through. Thanks for the kill. No matter what danger be lurks before us, we are true champions. Wow, that's, that's a lot of health you got there, mister. Hmm. Why didn't you kill him before? Can we talk about that? I guess not. Uh oh. Thus the dangers of locking on. Okay. Farewell. How far we have come to slay the giant. Oh, it's raining now. Great. In the capital, so you can buy it. Oh, yeah, we're pretty far away from that, but... I think I might have actually just pictured it. <laughs> no. No horns. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Here we go. What? Oh way too soon. Way too late. Way too soon. <laughs> there we go. Oh just gonna do it. Okay. Here we go. We're on the road again. Storm Hill. And the Golden Seed. Oh, I think there's an Ever Jail over there. At least there's worms. Hello. You came in with the wind, huh? Bonk. 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 <laughs> yeah, that'll show you, little wolves. That'll show you. We can take a sit. We can take a sit. Ooh, purple item. The stone sword key. Hello. And who might you be? Everyone's been grafted. Huh? Everyone who came with me. They crossed the sea for me. They fought for me. <laughs> Only to have their arms taken. Their legs taken. Even their heads taken. Taken and stuck to the spider. Did you know if you're grafted by the spider... You become a chrysalid. It's quite a lark when you think about it. I don't know what you're talking about. You're all on your own, are you? Mm-hmm. And heading to Stormvale Castle. Indeed. Enticed by the one in the white mask, I suppose. Oh, you've come to be one with the spider? Well, that makes us two peas in a pod. But I don't have your courage. It's scary, you know, having your arms cut off, or legs, or your head. I want to be like everyone else, but I'm just too scared. I'm nothing but a craven. I... I mean, you're right. That's why I'm not going to get my legs and arms cut off, hopefully. Oh, I know. Can you take this little one along with you? Sure. The poor thing deserves someone braver than myself. And the spirits look rather fondly upon you. It'll be glad of your company, I think, the little un. I don't know why, I'm never going to use them. It was a pleasure to see you. Oh, can you pass on a message for me? If you see the little chrysalids in Stormvale Castle, tell them I love them. And that, despite my craven heart, 
I'm sure I'll be joining their club soon enough. I'm finally getting the hang of this whole pain thing, you know? Take it from me. That's not a good thing to get a hang of. It was a pleasure to see you. Oh, tell them all. Alright, well. I suppose I'll pass on your message. Sure, why not? It is quite, uh, quite dusty here, isn't it? It's, uh, you could even say, heckin' whimmedy. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Gloves are back. Behind me. Right, okay. So you just spawn behind me, no matter where I am. Got it. Alright, there's one thing. Well, we're going to go explore down here real quick. Because this didn't look connected to anything. So I thought, you know, a quick exploration in and out. Five minutes. But then there is something I would like to do. Uh, that doesn't involve here. Rune fragments. And an emote. Okay, great. Pretty sure I can make this fall. Especially if I do it that way. These are for crafting, but I don't actually know what they craft. <laughs> they have starlit shards. I think I've been there before, maybe. Hard to tell with all this wind around. All this whimmed. Great. You know, this cemetery for giants makes me think there's actually just a regular giant here. And would you look at that? Five bucks as he wakes up. Bonk. Yep. I took your advice, Groth Garrick. My camera's going crazy. All right. He made quite the sound there. Quite the sound indeed. And I spy jellyfish. The scions, I didn't even know they were spiders, explains a lot. Oh, she's referring to the Scions? Ugh. I hate fighting the Scions. I always cheese them. Always. Where am I? I don't know. Hello. So the jellyfish are here, which means it's nighttime, right? Or is this just a jellyfish place? The jellyfish seem to enjoy hanging out near graveyards. Anyone else? Okay. Anyone else? Oh. Another one. We good? I think we're good. Alright. My paladin duties have been fulfilled. something over here? That's just a ledge to death. A ledge to death, okay. I think an undead woke up, but I'm literally done caring. What? Ah. I thought I heard like something running on all fours. Oh, we have a lot of jellyfish here. And some of them are angry. Why are you angry, jellyfish? Ow. I understand why you are all angry. I did just kill your friends. If jellyfish have friends. Oh, hey. There's more undead. I have to get off my horse, though. I don't know how I feel about getting off my horse. 
Hold on. All right. Come at me. One at a time, please. That's good enough. Any other ones? No? So what was up here? Guess I looted that. Godric Soldier Ashes. Great. Ashes that we're never going to use. There are a few more. Or is this just things to kill, though? I think so. Golden rune. I love my runes. Okay. Well, that was fun. So we killed the giant, and then we killed a bunch of undead that had jellyfish hanging out with them. The hands aren't real spiders, but with all the legs and arms, just like spider hands, yeah. Yeah. Okay, if it's nighttime, jellyfish definitely have friends. There's even a small event with your summonable jellyfish. Oh yeah, I remember that. Oh yeah, I wanted to see if there was an Everjail here, or if these guys are just hanging out. I, uh... I didn't put two and two together with that at first. Oh dear. Someone help me out with getting that event. <laughs> so are you guys just hanging out here? Just chilling? Being rocks that explode? I guess. Explodey rocks? You're gonna attack me, aren't you? What the heck? Why would you do that? Hmm? Tell me. What's going on here? Huh. <laughs> and doesn't matter. We have a grace. Oh shit, is this who I think it is? I think it is. You're not chasing me, are you? No good. Hello! Not seen you before. Oh no, it's not. Name's Bernal. Tarnished, just like you. Let me ask you something. Are you here in the lands between to take up the fight? Does your faith in the guidance of Grace hold firm? Despite the collapse of the Golden Order? Yes. Yes, you're a tarnished through and through. Takes me back. But that's a quality needed now more than ever. Any interest in bearing the torch of my battle arts? All I know is the sword. Picked up a fair few tricks in my time, too. Now's the time to pass them on. To a good and proper tarnished like you. Thank you. So we have the stamp upward cut. The Kyak. Endure War Cry. Oh, that could be good. Harry, Stormblade, Quick Step. Yeah, I mean. I'm not really interested in any of these. There's a myriad of battle arts in these lands that I've yet to discover. Mementos of all the warriors who raised their arms in battle, lost and died. A fine tale. All told of true chivalric romance. That's how I fell in love with the sword and the arts of combat. It grants meaning even to falling in battle, to death itself. Cool. Yeah, quick step could be good, but I already have a quick step weapon. Not float in your boat. Well, there's no rush. Oh. Knowledge of the arts can wait another day. So I don't think I'm gonna whatever I'll buy it. Well, until we meet it. So, in uh, Dark Souls, I talked about this a little bit. 
in Dark Souls, some of the quests require you to... purchase all items before you can progress with the quest from people who sell items. Infamously, Big Hat Logan. One faith away. Um, I don't think that's the case in Elden Ring. Do we know what it does, though? Quick Step lets you, like, teleport behind people. It's really fucked up. <laughs> and by that, of course, I mean it's really strong. So, the one thing I want to do, we have a reach six hours, so to send us off today, I'm going to do something I never did. Or, you know, attempt to do. I never jumped down here. And jumping down here... I believe should lead to a conflict with the mad tongue Alberic. Wait, were you emoting me? Sorry if you were. What foul sorcery is this? What foul sorcery is that? No, no, no. This is hanging out for a while, huh? Ooh. Ah. Wow, that spin. You remind me of someone. Someone that I didn't like. Ooh. Wow. Okay. This is doable. You know what? I bet I could parry him. <laughs> I bet I could parry him. Those, that scythe has huge opening swings. Tremendous swings. He is begging to be parried. Wait. Oh, there you go. I'm like, why wasn't I invaded? Thanks for the emote, bro. Oh dear. I got greedy. We're both gonna full tap. Ooh, good roll through. Okay. That's fine. Is there a faith here that'll help me out? I mean, I could throw fireballs at him. Doesn't seem horribly prudent. You know what I could do? I could do this. I could also try and poison him. He's spawning miss. Why can't I spawn miss? He's a smart NPC. <laughs> yeah. All right. Didn't get poisoned by that, huh? Okay. I'm gonna just dump poison mist on him when he spawns. Because, you know, he stops there to, to bow or whatever. I'm gonna do that. I could also try, um... I forgot I had the Earth Steel Dagger on. Backstab him when he spawns. I'm gonna try this first. But, yeah, that's a good option. Also, I could just, like, counter counterattack him. Like, guard counter? I could just do that. Good, we poisoned him. I could just do that. Healed. I drank. Okay. We 
got the Sacred Blade. Oh! Okay, he's gonna heal. Let's let our stamina recover. The poison's ticking away. Ah, I got the buff, but I didn't get the damage. We tried to heal. We punish. He's doing that thing. We punish. Oh, dear. Got a little greedy there. Excuse me? <laughs> there we go. GG. Poison miss is good. <laughs> the Haunter's Tongue. Did I not pick up my souls? Hmm. Okay. The Haunter's Tongue. What is this? I never killed this guy before. Is he... Oh, it was a consumable. Uh, okay. Lures and invaders. This allows your world to be invaded without any furled finger cooperators present. Oh, and it also shortens the interval between window of opportunity for invasion. Additionally, enables the arrival of a second invader to join when a cooperator is present. With two invaders, the maximum number of cooperators becomes one. Wow. Okay. Explore the area. Yes. There just happens to be something here. Somewhere. That I can make use of. First off, good luck. With what? The Cypher Pata. Time for horseback battle. <laughs> the Cypher Pata, a weapon that I did not get on Fable. One of the weapons originating from the two fingers, a formless sequence of ciphers comprises its blade, and as such, no shield can repel it. It deals holy damage. The furtive inscription appears to hang in the air, the language of light spoken by the two fingers. The unblockable blade is its unique skill. Imbue the cipher blade with light, then lunge forward with a sudden piercing attack. This attack cannot be blocked. It is a fist weapon that requires 30 faith. Its damage is already lower than what I'm doing, though. But it is fast, so we may give it a shot. Here's what it look here's what it looks like. What it looks like. Look at this thing. We got some lightsaber sounds. So this is the fist variant of the... I don't remember what it's called. But the sword. The lightsaber. So we could make use of this. Someday, perhaps. The issue with fist weapons has always been that... They have really short range. And as far as wrist weapons go, those seem to have, like, longer range than most. This is Quick Step, by the way. I've heard the Earth Steel Dagger is not very good. As far as daggers are concerned. So we might use it, we might not. This is- the Quick Step is really useful for certain situations, though. Like getting out of poison and stuff. Hello, mister. Well, I took you no matter it's lay out your arms. Already? You already took me for dead? Oh, I don't have any lost asses. Lost ashes. Can I? This takes somber, right? Yeah. There will come a time when we can spend all the somber stones in the world. But that time is not yet. Thank you. Thank you, mister. And with our remaining runes, I might as well... Oh, I already got it. Okay. May the golden orb... Yes, yes, thank you. And I think... It looks cool. It does look really cool. I think, my friends, this is a great place to stop for today. 
just like last time uh, in my first playthrough, I stopped like once we got right here for one of the streams to... So next stream, just like in the past, is going to be all about Stormvale Castle. There are a few very good things in here for us, so we will be exploring it thoroughly. We will unravel all of its secrets and everything it has to offer, and we will have a brand new weapon for next time. So thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. The streams have returned. Elton Ring has returned, and Alcor is here to search for his purpose as the anguished confessor. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like as it does help out the channel, and I appreciate it. Thank you to all the patrons and channel members who support the channel. I greatly appreciate you and Elton for your donation. Thank you. If anyone would like to stay up to anything happening on the channel, feel free to join the Discord description down below. And the next stream will be two days from now. So the day after tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow is going to be a video. We're finishing off Banner 4 for Tawaris. It's going to be great. I love, I love Tawaris. Uh, but anyway, I'll see you then. Bye.